as we are uh, alive once more, alive on the internet. <clears throat> a few minutes early today instead of late, as <laughs> as the last few days. Seeing as I was set up already, I thought, let's just hop on. Uh, making sure that everything's kind of working. Let me refresh here, see if I actually see myself, which I do. Meaning that it is maybe working. So <laughs> gonna hop on this character. We have a manhunt available. We have a final manhunt mission available. Uh, so uh, let's go do those. As I haven't got any chance to play yet at all today. Uh, safe area. Did get a chance to log in. I just grabbed some footage for some stuff and that was it. And uh, got the projects ready. I didn't actually check what the weekly districts. Oh, okay. that's... Might actually do those a few times. District I quite enjoy. Roosevelt and... Uh, Capital can be annoying, but uh, district I know well, so might later in the week do it. I already noticed that yeah, it was uh, it was Constitution Hall that uh, the manhunt is set in. I don't know anything about it. I've, I've explicitly not been on many <laughs> discords or stuff to uh, get myself spoiled, uh, so I don't know what the final manhunt mission is uh, yet. Find out uh, together. But yeah, as I'll, um, I think I already did. I set up this character with a, to be the Elmo variant of the high-end tech tank. So I always do it on this character first, so she gets to have those privileges <laughs> again once more. But yeah, she's my uh, longest running character. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go do the manhunt. Although actually, I should, uh, yeah, I should turn on a few directives. That's yeah, we're on heroic, but um, might as well have like three directives at least. Um, Will skills, fragile armor, and ragers, all three don't really matter that much to a tech tank. Not turning on fog of war because I don't want to deal with it. And uh, it's so much easier with that, especially in the open world. And while I do enjoy me some XP, I also enjoy me some just, you know, not having to try hard. Change my light a little bit, just so it's a little bit better. There we go. As you, so we'll uh, try that once more. <laughs> so also, I should take a brief sip. Mm. That's that's sweet. <laughs> As that is some. Uh, like those sport drinks kind of things, but I don't know why they make those that sweet as well. But yeah, I just wanted something sugary just to uh, keep me awake. You guys there? So yeah, today was a long day, mostly doing work stuffs. But now I get to uh, you know relax myself a little bit with, with some division. She, let me check. Okay, she can actually use the resources. Those are likely from the last two weeks of uh, SHD her stuff. <laughs> you know, those things, the SHD stuffs. The weekly projects. I didn't actually even check what faction we're up against. Well, I guess I'll see in a second. Who needs to be prepared? <laughs> mm, I'll check if the snitch is here. Because usually he might be. Might as well get a bounty off of him. As oh yeah, this is also a place that I really should remember that I want to use for an intro or an outro because like this is kind of kind of cool looking like this so. <laughs> mental note made and that mental note will be forgotten 
by the time that uh, it becomes relevant. We'll grab some, actually I'll grab a, I was gonna say I'm gonna grab a Scorpio, but I have an Elmo in my hands, so I can't grab a Scorpio. Um, I'll grab a rifle and put these flame rounds on it. Yeah, uh, true suns I saw right there. So we're fighting some true sunny. Is it true sun? Are you winning? Um, actually, what I'm gonna do, although actually these guys will likely bring the rest of it into combat. If I can, I want to go around and go to attack from the side, which is much more preferred to me. If I can, I'm gonna go attack from uh, from over here. I'm looking to see what's there's something down this street, but I don't see it. So, <clears throat> and if I can't see it, it's not real and it can't hurt me. Um, seeing what we have, a former there, a deer there. NG there. Um, let's pop her. Follow me. Reinforcements in route. Yeah, I'm just calling the man because I might die here. Like this is this is risky place. Surprising that she made it all the way. <laughs> Good. Uh, remember that fragile armor is on and. Uh, couldn't give away free armor breaks. Um, how did they get... Oh, no, they haven't. I was going to say, how did they get behind me? But they haven't yet, actually. They're underneath me. I'm going to just kill that turret to get the memento uh, off of it. It's on an edge. Trying to see where these guys are. That turret is now my best friend. It's, it's attacking its previous allies, although it shot me a few times. <laughs> As it is, they keep spawning underneath me. I'm really close to an armor break. I should actually get that fixed. But also, these guys, they'll likely try to come up. And in that, I will kill them. You know what? I'll take the I'll take the heal here, just in case. <laughs> I, I I thought so. I heard the footsteps of a heavy, and I thought, uh, you know what? That may armor break me if I don't fix it. <laughs> and uh, load our snakes, and uh, yeah, indeed, we are uh, tech tanking it up. Detecting additional hostile contacts. Uh, although the high end one, although the newer version of the high-end one, which I still actually kind of have to make a build picture for. Um, it'll likely replace whatever she has, basically. Uh, it's hers. Although her one is actually a spotter one, which I kind of like. What's uh, the one thing that... Well, several things that Elmo can do. One of them is... <laughs> be used on spotter builds. Annoyingly. But it with its extra crit chance it opens up the availability of Picaros and Picaros makes kinda makes sense in this build. Because yeah we're using the blue core for a reason. So we're just using it a little bit effectively. Yeah, I've been working on another uh, mode as well, although likely that will mean that uh, that uh, Hype 1 will... Uh, because, yeah, that Hype 1 is uh, with the cat is just one of the, like, free ones from Twitch. Um, it'll likely replace that, because, yeah, I only have uh, five slots uh, for modes. Heavily armored 
Oh, yeah, purple gang is, of course, <laughs> something I should make. So, I will. And, uh, it's the, we can have some card carrying members of the purple gang. I'm going to see where this guy is. I should actually just close the distance here. Like, that's the thing that, like, my tech tanks exist. <laughs> to not sit all the way back here and shoot, but go in front and shoot. So run out of ammo, of course, but that's what this thing is for, right? Well, the downside is always with Elmo as well, I've been finding, is your secondary becomes so much more annoying to set up for. Because, yeah, I'm when I'm grabbing especially this classic m one this has 10. Excellent therapist. Sokolova is using him to treat people. Maybe I've been wrong about her. Hmm. Wait, he's a therapist? Wait, are we getting the range? Please tell me we're getting the range. <laughs> and yes, I don't know anything anything about anything yet, so I, I've, I've specifically not allowed myself to be spoiled on anything. Not not even by a real reason. I just haven't been on Discord or anything much. But yeah, I'm assuming we're getting the firing range, because we, like, that was, that's the only remaining thing, like, right? <laughs> but we'll figure it out by then, you? Uh, Douglas, holster, decent stats, but not worth keeping. Where are we off to now? Uh, likely uh, over here, I would guess. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's the obvious nearest one. Target is nearby. Trying to think how they would set it up. Because then, yeah, likely afterwards, well, I mean, it's going to be one of the CPs, of course, but likely then this one and then back here. Or maybe here. Right. We'll see. Friendly control point nearby. As yeah, as we're having some nice Dutch weather. <laughs> as yeah, today is great. Oh, <laughs> as I'm talking about the weather, and I. Uh, almost uh, run into these guys so I in my head we were a little bit further away but in reality we were not uh, I aggroed some stuff over there trying to make sure I don't actually get destroyed by those As it's good to see that uh, Henry hasn't been fixed yet and is dropping. <laughs> the level CA and Henry seem to still be dropping a lot. As yeah, we've gotten two names so far already, two drops. So that usually indicates those kinds of things. I'm happy that whatever is behind us hasn't come up to uh, murder us. Some flame rounds here again. Yeah, I always go this upper route. Oh, actually, yeah, that... Hmm. This I should remember as well, because there's, of course, the mannequin corridor here. And that one's also kind of like a cool, cool spot. I'm hoping they at least set this these waves up correctly to so that because yeah this is one of those boundary positions that uh, quite often actually bugs out because yeah you might have enemies uh, not coming over the over like where they're supposed to come over <laughs> and uh, being stuck behind as I feel that gunner kind of is there but uh, you know he's coming oh, well. was a rocket. <laughs> I 
And uh, hello there, Fantao. Uh, <laughs> we're having an, a mode off, it seems. But yeah, because especially at this like this corridor area, I should also remember because yeah, especially like this is kind of nice and freaky. As I, as I still kind of, I'm not perfectly happy with that emote still. I kind of, the annoying thing is that the other one, the facepalm one, is from an actual recording that was local. So it was actually pretty in high res. That one, of course, I've grabbed from a, a stream. And uh, with the streams, I don't record them locally as well because uh, that, like, that, those are big. <laughs> uh, so what I do is just grab the, the VODs from uh, from Twitch itself. And those are pretty like they're not super low res, but they're 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 like they're like the stream basically. A little pixelated. And I think maybe if I remake that one, just basically just fake it. <laughs> just pose it basically, then I might uh, get better results. Um where's my shield? Thank you. <laughs> My shield was out, I, my bar was already active, but the graphically it wasn't. <laughs> That's your target. Is that my target? Good to know, Manny. Thank you for your input. Yes, she missed by a mile. The rain is really helping here. They can't really actually like as you can see, nothing is really shooting at me. <laughs> and that's quite common in the rain. They need to be close enough to actually, like, kind of see where you are. Um, and, of course, turrets and drones on our end also have that issue. They need a break. They can't maintain this pace. Thank you for the assessment, Dr. Billings. I'll send a relief team as soon as possible. Get to the nest. Oh, we're going to the nest. Down. Good job. Better known as the, the nest. Bad guy at a time. Nicely done, Sheriff. I'll grab this crate as well. Hmm, it's well as vindictive. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty decent high stats for a purple weapon. Uh, the nest. Um, I'll just walk there because I don't want to lose all my stacks. Because yeah, the only two real places I can fast travel to are safe houses, and I would lose all my mementos. So I'll just run there. We'll have a nice little rainy jog. And uh, <laughs> and hello there to you as well, Pomic. And uh, the gang's all here <laughs> as we'll go and uh, do this manhunt. And the final manhunt mission as well, of course. Yeah, she as well. Uh, Double XP as well, of course. Um, no, this one. That's it. We'll get another year five cash out of it. I'm already three levels in. Those 60 levels you get from the double XP are actually kind of, or well, like 30 levels become 60 levels basically. Right? Um, those help people level up uh, as well. Uh, grab these resources. I'll grab her face. I still haven't fixed my uh, polycarbonate issue, but also actually I didn't really find anything to spend polycarbonates on. So I just gave up. <laughs> so we're still full up on those. Oh well, pretty full up on those. I think I, I did. I think I did spend some on something. Blow them up. And then, yeah, likely the final bounty will be uh, back here. That that seems to make the most sense. Or or it might be in this building. Like, and then they would be like, like a half circle. And then, yeah, the final, final bounty is going to be DCD. I'm going to guess. 
Because there's no other mission in this zone. Or tied to this zone. And I'm curious to see what they would do with the final manhunt mission. Uh... <laughs> in my trying to evade that grenade I almost ran into where it was I'm gonna kill her before Rager triggers on her hopefully oh, stand up man as I hear the nice thing is like the minigun he can't actually see me so <laughs> the rain is helping us out That was some bad shouting. Shouting. That was some bad shouting on my part. <laughs> That's it. I'm just staying in the phone and just firing. Get the strikes. Heavily armored, hostile detected. That's heavy. Something's close behind me as well. I should call him in, actually. <clears throat> Reinforcements incoming. You don't know if with the manhunt ones you can even get rogues. Although, of course, actually today there wasn't a maintenance, I believe, right? At least <laughs> there wasn't one uh, set to be there, so I'm going to assume nothing uh, actually was altered at all. Because, yeah, the, the CP ones still seem to be broken from what I under or well, from what we, what I saw last time. Although the open world one seems to have been fixed. That's Xander had ran into some. Um, I should just go close this range. <laughs> There's no reason for me to be this far back. Ready to give cover. Down. Cover Seeing as we're a tech tank, let's go do tech tank stuff. Like, be in people's faces. <clears throat> Hoping that's just the turret. And uh, hello there, Jess, as well. Now, truly, the gang's all here. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're uh, doing some man hunting. Hunting our own men back. And also, yeah, leading towards the end of this season. Which, uh... I feel they did well. This was a good, decently good season. Like... The gear sets weren't that interesting. Um, well, the gear set wasn't interesting. The, the, well, I mean, actually, it is interesting. It, it's at least, like, it's... Not just another bad damage set. Um, uh, we got a good exotic out of it, a mediocre exotic out of it, and uh, Elmo and the Shocker. <clears throat> and yeah, the gear and the brand set was useful at the very least in uh, helping people uh, gain more. Uh, Eclipse protocol sets e more easily the optimal variants of it. Trying to see. I'll make you pay. Doc Billings has been moved to the True Sons broadcast outpost. Sokolov. Oh, <laughs> okay. What the hell is she doing? So, uh. 
that's uh, this building if I'm if I remember correctly. Uh, maybe it's for the <laughs> uh, 12 cable car. Yeah, then uh, that's, a, that's a lot of watch alt stacking. At least at least five of them. Uh, I'm confused about the double speed. Isn't 15 levels in the winter? Yeah, basically, well, no. So it's seven and a half counting as 50 is the thing. So you're basically getting double XP for seven and a half levels. That's the way to look at it. And yeah, it ends up being, I mean, it's it's a easy extra levels, and especially for players that don't play much, because a lot of players that don't play much still jump in and do the, especially the manhunts and stuff. Uh, oh, that's. <laughs> I assume that guy was a friend, but uh, he wasn't. I'll grab these res this strike source now. Why? Why? I'm here anyway. And especially, they all spawn from here. And they're outcasts, making it extra easy. It's too bad actually that they uh, fixed uh, <laughs> the convoy farming uh, quite a bit with, with this season. Because actually yeah, the Elma would become the new meta for, for, well not, I mean still Regulus would be the meta, but for the people that don't like, don't like the meta, using Regulus, it would have become the meta because yeah, <laughs> you can chalk one of the waves and, and get, them, get them down easily. But yeah, they did of course uh, alter the values there. And they should have, like they, they should have fixed it earlier, a lot earlier. As yeah, we're going to that building, uh, might as well go from DCD. <laughs> yeah, I've been finding that as well, although of course, uh, with uh, polycarbonates being for uh, expertise levels <laughs> handy, um, I'm of course done with expertise, uh, as yeah, as you are as well. Uh, uh, I guess. And yeah, it's one of the yeah few resources that uh, I'm full up on, and not spending it, which still kind of like weirds me out that I'm full up on something and not spending it. But I usually do. I'll go for the quick kill here. I barely got it, as it was about to turn around. But... Target is near you, Agent. So we have an entire war zone here. The wave in the back is already about to be... Uh... Oh no, they aren't aggroed yet. They're on uh, alert. It's annoying because yeah, they're going after those allies of mine. It's weird, kind of. Uh, everything feels a lot weaker because polarity switch, of course, uh, has ended. Uh, my beloved polarity switch has left us. And yeah, everything feels a little bit harder. Although, of course, actually, it's still not hard as a solo or scaling. Like, we're burning through stuff. But yeah, I, I missed that buff already. But yeah, even, even like this, this one isn't technically weak. This, this, this tech tank. It's, it's the weakest tech tank, but it's still not weak. But here, kind of like in comparison to last week, it kind of <laughs> kind of feels a little bit a little bit weaker. Okay. Will that reach them? Nope. Actually, it did. I didn't have shock runs there, so it must have come from. Yes, keep spawning in there. That's a very nice thing they're doing for me. That's the target agent. Wait, what? Oh, and then we take it. Um, swap speed perpetuation. 
That's too bad, because yeah. MG5s, I like them. But yeah, they need to be fast hands or with, uh, re and then with crit chance or rate of fire to be useful. Mm. One of them's up here. I'm gonna move towards this side. Everything in front of me. See a red medic down there. Will be my next target. Something has been flanked. We gotta move. There we go. And another Lavoisier or Henry. <laughs> yeah, these things are Zelia dropping out there. Like super increased rate. Like that's, uh, yeah, that, that's not something well they should done. fix. Like, just the names are already hard enough to get. Like, my grind with the closer. <laughs> they should maybe find a middle ground, like balance those new ones because the yeah, Habsburgs ones are also dropping way too much. Maybe make those a little bit less and then the rest a little bit more because yeah, some of those names just take forever. Um. Yeah, final uh, final bounty, DCD. Trying to think where they would put the final boss of it. Usually, it's the room before the boss fight, which is like the, the laptop corridor. Of course, ah, I can just fast travel there. I'm curious. As I dropped out of a window, of course, damaging myself, so I'm in combat. <laughs> So I need to wait that out, and then then I get to pass travel. Mm. Well, let's have a look. Doctor Billings has helped all of us heal and work together. Be careful, Agent. I don't like that Sokolov has brought him here. Do, do, do. Of course, the invaded version, so that minigun is scary. I mean, well, scary. Annoying. Although, of course, there's a red battle room next to it. So. Oh, hello. Were they there the whole time? Did I just not look over there? Or did this wave just come into existence behind me? Because, yeah, I feel that I would have noticed those four people there. Because, <laughs> yeah, if I had Fog of War on, that would have been a death. Because, yeah, I, I wouldn't have seen that <laughs> without, uh, without the minimap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm uh, the greatest enemy to most people, uh, the ground. In the end, it will swallow us all. I'm curious to see if... Oh, well, no, the door will be open, right? Because uh, they can't do door triggers in these bounties. I was going to say if, if you need to shoot the door to open it, but it'll just be open. Um... This mission isn't invaded this week, I feel. Let me check what the invasion is, actually. Uh, okay, it's Roosevelt and that side of the map. Um, oh, Lincoln again, then that means. Oh, wait, we can't go up? Is it, there's a key chest upstairs. Might as well go get it. Uh, it's on that side. Is it? That gave us 100 electronics. Grab some ammo again as well. Oh, the door isn't open. Oh. 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 That's interesting. Hmm. They haven't done stuff like this before. 
Because, yeah, we're going basically a different route. I mean, they've done it in the main Manhunt missions, but not just in, uh, in a bounty like this. Although, of course, here is one of the rare situations where something like that, yeah, could be done even if they wanted to. This is normally this opens when you kill the boss and you can you can leave through here if you like want to. <laughs> Most people just fast travel away, of course, or, or leave group, <laughs> depending on uh, what you are doing. That was unexpected, actually. But that's cool. But, ooh, mm. Now, where do I guess that the boss fight is? Maybe the blood rooms downstairs? Like the lab? Now we do go back into the building. Can we access this? I <laughs> just want just one check. I don't know. Also not, not the best right now. Because yeah, one of the things with these bounties is they just open all the doors uh, for you. You don't get to open them yourself because they, they're not using the normal triggers. I feel I've never been over here actually. What's over here? randomness what okay i wasn't expecting that <laughs> uh this seems like a little bit of an, an unfinished area kind of <laughs> uh now i want to see oh because yeah because we have a floating pole oh. <laughs> okay but, uh yeah uh, don't walk under ladders, but also don't walk underneath stairs. I can't actually walk underneath it there, so that, that, that solves that. Anyway, this this is a pathway to nowhere. This this is steps for you to climb into this window. <laughs> hmm. I'm curious now if there if this also is in like the invaded version, if it is like this, or if they broke it with this. I feel I've never been over on this side, even on the invaded version, because I always run up the left side and then just leave. Um, we're outside of the boundary here, even, actually. <laughs> like, the boundary of the zone is ending here. Can't jump over there. Hmm. Mm, da -ba -da -da, in... Uh, Grateful recognition of his services to the American people in their struggle for liberty born in Prussia, blah, blah, blah. And I, wait, who? Frederick William. Yeah. Appointed at Major General Military Train. Yeah. This is actually, yeah. I'm definitely using this as an intro or something. Because, yeah, this... <laughs> and if you're ever... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I really don't like windows. Would you like a door instead? Yeah, give me a door instead. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, if you're ever wondering, like, how I find a lot of those spots that I seem to know about is uh, I'm curious, so I usually go and uh, uh, go get myself killed as a like in the same way that cats do quite often. Oh, uh, I'm actually no, I'm still fine. I was gonna say I'm I, I'm about to run out of momentum stacks, but actually that wasn't as long. <laughs> no. Um, so yeah, we're coming up uh, the back way to this.
But I'm curious to see if that's also in the invaded, but yeah, we'll have to wait till it's invaded. Let's go. One dead tango. I think there's turrets off. Uh, I shouldn't push much further because yeah, they spawned from that door, so likely the next wave will also spawn. Um, they spawn downstairs, I'm guessing there. Seeing as I can't see them. Oh. So heavy somewhere, I'm guessing. And there is that somewhere. I'm just gonna wait for my shield and then move back in. I seem to be bugged, seems. So I shouldn't gain more armor breaks than I have already because yeah, those things stack up. Hostile radio intercepted. Okay. You've been having a hard time. You can't let your pain drive your decisions. If you can. Please take a chance to breathe and recalibrate yourself. Not just your weapon. <laughs> Thanks, dog. <laughs> I don't understand what you're Yeah, we have that chest down there, but nothing in here scales uh, inside of these bounties. So. <clears throat> oh, well, we'll go down this rope. I don't think I've ever been down this rope. Is it you only ever usually go up this rope? No, no, I uh, seem to have guessed correctly, likely. With this being uh, the... The room will likely get the boss in. Uh, I'll stay back here because I'm afraid they'll spawn from the sides. And I also want to see where they spawn, actually. Because yeah, usually they only spawn from... The right side and the left side, usually. Seem to have spawned somewhere else. There's also a guy upstairs. Although that's likely on the streets, actually. But yeah, I'll just keep distance, play it safe. Just let them all come to me. I can't get flanked here. Although, well, I could, but... <laughs> That would, that would take some exceptional... Sir, why did you go get set up back there? Why is it... Stand up. Oh, actually. Oh, no, it's not this room then. Um, go get these shock rounds. Might as well. Because, yeah, it's so rare to have shock rounds in an Elmo. Might as well. <laughs> Get some now. Mm. Uh, rail splitter. I mean, it's it's a okayish AR. Um, the thing is, the CTAR is already so easily like it, it's already a laser to begin with. Uh, <laughs> I feel that's kind of a little bit of a dick move to have them be that close to your coming up point. At least for like builds that aren't tech tanks. Like if you come up there and you're glass, <laughs> you might have a bad time. There's stuff around me which scares me, but that's also likely just outside, except well. Luster in the fire there. Is that him spawning? Okay, that is him spawning. I 
I feel I hit that. Oh, I'm about to lose my shield. I feel I hit that backpack on that <laughs> medic like a thousand times. Yeah, this heavy wood pistol doesn't scare me much, but the medic kind of does. Yeah, doesn't scare me, but something that needs to be dealt with. We've got Doc Billings. I see you back at the castle, Agent. Please come see me if you ever want to talk. Yeah. We got Doc Billings. Is she done the firing range yet? Because I don't feel like a doctor would run a firing range. Like, I don't feel those two things <laughs> are normally linked. Um, oh yeah, the, the rail splitter. Uh, uh, not really. Like, the thing is, we don't have any talents um, where we could give up. Like, if Unhinged was a chess talent or something, it would make sense. Like if you had a talent like that, where you give up a lot of accuracy and stability and uh, or a chest talent that gives you damage. I'm going to see how far it lets me go here. It's, uh, that's what I'm running here. But yeah, we don't have those kinds of things. And the CTAR is already like a laser. To have it, have an accuracy talent on top of it, it's like kind of pointless. But it is just a good weapon. Like I don't mind the thing. Although I'd much rather just have a fast hands <laughs> as either. Uh, and uh, hello there, uh, Spewn, and uh, welcome as well. Um, that was saying something about a really accurate Oxy, if I heard it. Does it apply to... it? Maybe it does apply to Oxy, yeah, because Oxy usually... I haven't actually considered... Like, does Braced as well and stuff, like, increase accuracy of Oxy? Because, yeah, Oxy has, does have, like, that wobble of it. I mean, all of the chems do. Yeah, the, so he's also on the wrong side because, yeah, the, the firing range is, like, over here-ish. So him being on that side of the thing. But, yeah, let's go see what he is and then hope... Is, is then the final manhunt target uh, firing range? Do we get the firing range? <laughs> I'll find that. I'll find that. Don't, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. <laughs> Not spoiled yet. Because of course, RPM famously applies to Oxy from weapon, uh, where you would use the chatterbox to get a very fast firing Oxy. Every person is vital to what we are trying to build here. That includes you, Agent. That voice and that face don't match up in my head. He's very like gruff and <laughs> sounding and and there he's like not. Um Yeah, so we should have access to uh Manning. Really? Okay. <laughs> That's unexpected. Uh, invaded Manning. Well, or, well, Black Tusk Manning. Um, okay, would you consider doing a video on how you approach inventory stash management, how you decide what pieces to skip for? Uh, yeah, I'm very much considering doing that, especially for um, uh, when I do my third account. Like, when my third account kind of hits, um, hits uh, level 40, I want to do basically a video of, like, this is what I am going to do as a level 40. Uh, the first things I will like do. And then follow that up as well with like, what do I keep and stuff? Because the thing is inventory management and stuff is very dependent on like, my inventory management is very different than somebody that is like gearing up or stuff. <laughs> like I'm not keeping much. Whereas when you're gearing up, you will keep a lot more. And also there's a lot of philosophies on it because the thing is, the way that I do inventory management, I'm throwing away a lot of stuff that costs me time to get later. But I'm okay farming those, basically. 
Um, just gonna, yeah. Let's go do this thing. Okay. Agent, we've located Mari at the zoo. Heavy hostile presence. Watch out for their tech. I'd rather not have a repeat of Coney Island. Oh, yeah, we're off site again, like the last manhunt, actually, yeah. Oh, yeah, now actually, yeah, so Coney. So actually, yeah, all of the off-site ones uh, on the top now have a <laughs> have a manhunt mission because yeah, you have uh, Camp White Oak with uh, with Fei Lao, you have uh, Ballpark with uh, uh, last season's one, Stove Pipe. Um, I did lose my stacks, of course, coming over here, so I feel a lot weaker. Um, yeah, I'm mean, using Park Schaefer and then I'm manning uh, this. A Pentagon doesn't have any actually, right? That's the only offsite remaining. Um, but yeah, to go back to uh, inventory management, yeah. It, 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 it's so dependent on the player and how what you're after. Um, but yeah, I, I will eventually do a video on it, basically. It is very much on the list. Um, and but mostly it's going to be how I do it, and that's mostly more for a, like a player that uh, is pretty far into it already. Uh, oh, oh, they they've built a wall, and they've made the agents pay for it. Um, wait, what? Find the power source. Okay. I also feel I've never been over here ever. Although, I, well, I've likely been there searching for chests, but... Uh, any yellow lines? Okay. Uh, find the power source. Find the power source. Uh, that looks like something. See if we have any red stuff here. Because the MP grenades, like if there's a yellow box or something, like you can kind of more easily find them like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's no power. Um, the normal thing for them to do is to have like yellow lines running from these doors to somewhere. Uh, up here because yeah they've placed these here i feel oh, okay <laughs> found it those lines are because yeah they do use these but these are not the normal yellow lines they would use like it's actually bad of them to use those ones because yeah the normal yellow lines i would definitely like instantly go like okay that's that's where <laughs> I wonder how many people got stuck there for, for longer than me. Although, of course, I got stuck. Uh, let me catch up there um, a little bit. Um, hey there, uh, Dotan FH. Um, for next season, so the season currently is uh, set. Uh, if you basically go into, into the escape menu here, it has season ends in uh, five weeks six days which is likely when they're planning on having the next season come out we of course only have another we have this week and two more weeks of stuff of league and global events and stuff so we either have three dead weeks afterwards or they might uh, announce it a little bit earlier this guy is likely on the balcony above me but we don't have an exact date yet and usually it, it's um we won't have an exact date there <laughs> till they basically announce it. But they'll likely announce it um, uh, in the coming two weeks, likely. They will give a... Uh, because, yeah, we have, we'll have... Normally, <laughs> we don't have to have... I was about to say, normally we would have a PTS, of course. Uh, they have been good about keeping 
that's going because yeah, PTSs are kind of required because sometimes people will find stuff that they missed, uh, egregious stuff that they missed. Um, so yeah, at the very least they'll announce the PTS likely soon and then we'll know more afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I should I should kind of uh, eventually uh, just dual box, well, uh, oct octo box, <laughs> octo box <laughs> myself a raid. No, <laughs> uh, that we uh, quite the quite the quite the thing. Uh, but yeah, I very much want to do a third account. Uh, it's been it's been I mean my my alt account is now five k, so I can't really consider that to be like new anymore uh and yeah i kind of want to see how it is again to like go through and because even with expertise and stuff of course i i went into it even with my alt account with having a ton of resources a ton of availability was already like 3k uh, something and um i basically watch altered myself <laughs> through it on my alt account you kind of want to see how it is like for new players because I'm of course kind of like making guides and stuff for newer players and I feel I should kind of know what I'm talking about, how how it feels. Of course, I'll be going into it with with the knowledge that I have. Like, it won't be <laughs> it won't be uh, like a fresh run because like I can't do that. I, uh, I know too much. <laughs> Ooh. Protected hostiles detected. Servers. Immune, okay. Oh, this will be a fun fight for red builds. Uh, servers. Servers? They're marked? Whoa. Oh, that was a sniper, okay. I thought there was only minigun and a grenade but it's also a sniper here. That's what hit me there. Um, servers? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, uh, they have taught me a lesson. Okay, there we go. Which is that uh, these yellow lines mean something. I should follow that lesson. Uh, oh, that's <laughs> okay. So these two lead into that one. Okay, next. This one leads over there somewhere. Can I weak points destroy them? No. Uh, wait, this one led into that one then. Okay, so where where's this next one then? Just gonna wait for the sniper to fire once. Come on, fire. Because I think it's behind me. And we follow even more yellow lines. Uh, that one went over there as well. This one's going over here. This one's going over here. And that one's over there. Wait. I missed one somewhere. Over. Likely over here. No, this one's leading to this one as well. <laughs> uh, we had one over there. We had one over here. I feel there should be one over there then. Like that. Just as a balance kind of thing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> this is going to be hell for some players. Though. Like, now that I know, like, once you know, you know. But, like, first run. <laughs> I can imagine this being a little bit of a... A little bit of a hell for... Especially, like, if you come in here with a glass or something. Um, yeah, let me catch up on uh, chatter a little bit as I'm getting quite invested here, of course. Uh, yeah, Palma gave you the answers. Yeah, yeah. Got to, uh, to it uh, as well there. Uh, like, yeah. yeah, all of these puzzles are usually not that hard. Yes, you'll, uh, you'll just have to find them. And uh, yeah, I haven't uh, let myself be spoiled here, so just uh, 
trying to figure them out along the way. Although, yeah, it's still to me, they're using the, the wrong yellow uh, wiring. <laughs> uh, this is invaded setup, so yeah, there's no chest up there. I guess we're gonna actually gonna play so, uh, something to do with what you keep. You don't snipe like you will have something, so. Yeah, it's basically, so my recommendation is usually to, um, for like lower level players is, um, like, the thing is kind of depends because I, that recommendation is dangerous because you, they might throw away a few unicorns. The thing I should do is actually maybe like with the named list, make a list of uh, unicorns that like kind of have uses. It's actually maybe not a bad idea. And use that as well because yeah, usually my recommendation is just Grab two, three, maybe builds that you're after, and just only keep pieces for those. If you get like really good pieces, like especially like starting out, you can you can you'll you'll still have some stash space. So. Pieces that you're like, okay, this might be useful. You can you can keep those. Or basically just farm one build at a time, basically. Or well, two or three at the least. <laughs> But there is also some like minor tips as well where it's more for instance for me it's very much more inventory management or well stash management mostly like what i keep is very much more about how long will it take me to re-get this piece and how often will i use it so i have like blue court um um uh, jessica fenris stuff like that which are for basically dz or pvp kind of kind of builds to just alter builds to become become those Mari was the director of the but aquarium before she turned it into a fish farm. Just normal red pieces, actually. I don't really keep anymore because I have my red bills up. Is a powerful motivator. Agent Same, for instance, for like all of the yellow uh, gear sets, if you're only using them for yellow. So you don't need to keep any Eclipse pieces for <laughs> Eclipse because you can just craft them. I want to see, actually, is, is this still here? Was it here or was it here? I don't remember. I, I feel they fixed this at some point. Uh, uh. <laughs> this is like a weird place to, to end up. But uh, but yeah, you can kind of be, uh, be your own exhibit, kind of. <laughs> I feel like this thing is weird that you can stand on it, that it has geometry. And it's like you have to, it's very finicky to actually get up there. And yeah, this is also very much a place I should one of these days uh, use for something. Because yeah, this very much, of course, is uh, kind of cool looking. Yeah, I will eventually uh, use uh, stuff. Well, the, the thing is, up there, there is no lighting, really. The place that I like showed. Oh, wow. Well, they've, uh, they've altered this as well. <laughs> Yeah, actually, the entirety of Manning, like, Manning has, like, four or five places where it's just, like, actually pretty cool-looking spots. And I keep forgetting about them as much. <laughs> they issue that. Um, what did they say? Once you keep... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Because, yeah, that's, that's the thing for me. Like, uh, uh, the pieces that take a lot of time... But I have most of the things that I want already on builds. So what really gets kept is... Uh, yeah. If it takes a lot of time to refarm. And yeah, for instance, all yellow pieces, everything basically with a yellow core is... Like, not hard to refarm. So... But of course, if you're farming it for your <laughs> like first time, then, then that's a different story. Uh, I'm afraid of mortars all of, a, all, of, uh, all of a sudden, of course, because uh, that can happen here. They have that ability to use that here. 
I'm hoping they don't. Uh, I'm just gonna kill all of the people and hopefully those mini tanks will deconstruct themselves. Also, what is this? Why is there a chopper sound like this? gonna have a look on the back side here and just want to see if they like did something weird here no it's just they just put down the wall um oh this is actually of course this is actually a mission so yeah it's things skill in here it's not like the bounties as yes, we go into the savannah exhibit Cutscene. Get the patients out of here. Patients? They're running away from us, but we're trying to help them. I won't let you take them. Patients with what? <laughs> He did drop a collectible, so he dropped one of the phones. So likely there's a second boss as well then. Usually there's two bosses in these uh, manhunt missions, because you get basically two phones out of them. Uh, trying to see where anything else is. Uh, let's go kill this dog first. Oh wow, they were actually like all this is this here in invaded? This like this structure is here, but is this roof on it? No right. I feel I would have remembered something <laughs> like this. Like the, the building is here, but I'll just wait for her to do that and make it easy for me. Snipers behind me. That's a dick move game. Oh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought as much. I w uh, yeah, I would feel I would remember this. Also, this would block the shots for going... Because, yeah, I shoot the generator, of course, from, like, this pathway on the right. So, this would have blocked it. That's cool that they're, uh, like, altering... Because, yeah, they, they didn't really for uh, the last manhunt, I feel. And also, of course, with recent, like, manhunt stuff, they, they haven't really... So yeah, this, this, like the other bounty and this one, like, surprisingly decently put together. <laughs> he gave uh, no shits that he was uh, being shocked. Did they actually just, is this thing floating? Let's let's go see if they've actually done it correctly. No, they've even they've like even okay. But yeah, this helipad thing seems familiar. I don't remember where I've seen it before. I think it's maybe in tidal. It, I think it's maybe part of the. But yeah, it doesn't have like this structure underneath it there. So they they've put something underneath it to even make it look as it's not floating. So. Well done, team. <laughs> Hi, the mission is in mode hunter, no black mask. Is in mode hunter? Huh. <laughs> I'm just gonna run around and look around a little bit as well, see if they altered anywhere else or if they made a hole somewhere, because that's also not a given that they uh, won't have broken something.
Oh, they've put one there as well, because that's not there either, normally, I feel. Oh well, this also isn't here, of course. <laughs> Wait, have they blocked off this entire side? That's interesting. They have. Uh, this is like your path through then. Yep. Access denied. <laughs> Nearby signal detected. No. Really busy work. Come on, game. It's going to spawn something here, isn't it? That's why it's pulling me back. Like, they wouldn't do stuff like this without... Automated defenses detected. <laughs> Called it. Because, yeah, they, they wouldn't do something like this to go get this and go back unless they needed something to load. Oh, remain nearby? Okay. Rogue oh. striker drone detected. Hostile striker drone detected. Basically, they don't need a loading screen here. Or a loading thing here. So... It was a little bit obvious that something was going to happen. Uh, these drones are all elites, even on uh, solo, so... Yeah, he could work here even. But of course, the tech tanks just work too. That's weird. There's like no cover there and there because yeah, you can take cover here. You can't take cover here. And that seems like a dick move <laughs> for other builds. Because yeah, you can't take cover here on this wall either. You're kind of stuck in the open there. <laughs> this build, this mission is very much anti-class. It's very much like trying to be like the other uh, seasons, like previous seasons. We had a bunch of missions that were actually decently hard. Uh, they were designed. Oh, device deactivated. Did I deconstruct? Yeah. Oh, I'm a. <laughs> I'm here. Because yeah, they, they had a few missions that were very much designed almost to be anti-red like, builds. Where like you would need some form of CC or or some survivability. Just because they would spawn so many elites and stuff that you couldn't kill them fast enough. Like that's usually what you do with red builds. You just kill faster than, than the game can <laughs> throw them at you. Um we are going over here, right? Uh, this key chest should be scaling. And it seems to be. And seeing as uh, it's not invaded this week. Not today. Next group is ready to evacuate. That's the... We're heading to the rendezvous. I'll call for transpo. <laughs> really? They use the word transpo now as well? Come on, game. Or come on, devs. <laughs> Um, that was a voice actress for uh, the twins. The Camp White Oak twins. Heads and tails. Do not bring food items with you. Hmm. Yet. I have 500 of them. <laughs> how, do, how do I... Can I donate them somewhere? Um, you know what? I get a feeling I might not want to go in there. I'll just uh, play this as if it is legendary and just sit back here and... Because I get a feeling they are going to spawn from the sides. Maybe. Oh, yeah, no, they just jumped down. I thought they were going to spawn from, like, the doors where the where the Warhound spawn and invaded. Yeah, let's go. Let's go be a tech tank. Let's not... 
Let's cower behind our shields, but not cower all the way back. This could work. Biodome would be perfect for an aquaponics operation like the one we set up at the castle. Some of these plants must be edible. You could root the cuttings and grow them on top of the fish tanks. You're not worried about predation? As long as you keep the dome closed, you shouldn't have to worry about birds stealing the fish. The plants on top offer additional protection. It's also nicer to work inside during a storm and it's closer to the clinic. Honestly, you don't need all of this to build a fish farm. You're recommending we look for another site for the operation. I'm recommending you use the infrastructure of a zoo for a zoo. We need sustainable food for the community if we want people to come back. And when people are back, they're going to be bored and want to go on adventures. Experience new things. They'll want to go to the zoo. Or the aquarium. Yes. But turning the aquarium into a fish farm was different. We already had a fish farm. Turning the crock pit into a trout hole is very different. The exhibits weren't built for people to grow food. They were built to keep the animals in. There are too many ways people can get hurt, especially at night. And especially if you're wrong about all the predators abandoning their habitats. You want a fish farm? Convert a warehouse or a shipping container. It would work just as well. Yeah, as if... Uh, in this world, anybody would still be... Uh, Worried about entertainment at these points still. I also wonder if the weather is set like this because yeah, it went very rainy very, very fast. Although that could just be rain just coming in. Um, gonna have a look over here if the uh, well, this is just an I feel the normal gate actually over here with invaded is, is like the big gate, it's like the black dust gates. Not that chain gate. Uh, let me catch up here as well. <laughs> yeah, that guy was a sliding. Uh, he was uh, he was skateboarding. He was sitting on a skateboard invisibly. Uh, yeah, I'm curious to like find where that man uh, or where that helipad asset is from. It, it's so familiar looking, but I can't place it. I'll go get the, the special ammo and that chest. Uh, I mean, uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not invaded, Manning, indeed. Because yeah, this week Roosevelt is invaded, but yeah, this is just a manhunt mission, indeed. Um, but it is, I mean, it is still Black Dusk. It is also the invaded layout. So with all of the missions, they've actually been like, that was one of the things that uh, I like, I didn't even think about, <laughs> which was that, uh, of course, we're, we're doing the missions after the invasion, basically. Uh, I should watch out. I'm about to get an armor break. I should just fall back. I haven't uh, hit help. Mm, that was stupid of me. That was stupid of me. Could have just played it safer there. No checkpointing, of course. Not even by the bus. Agent. Ah. We've located Mari at the zoo. Heavy hostile presence. Yeah, as I was talking and not paying attention. I'd rather not have a repeat of Coney Island. As especially that grenade caught me off guard. But at least now we know what we're doing, so it'll go a lot faster. But it caught me out, which is surprising. Like, there's not many times that uh, content uh, wins against me. Although, of course, I'll just go back in and just finish them all. And yeah, that's the downside, kind of like the, the Heartbreaker tech tank there. Could have just easily <laughs> pulled out its ACS, gotten some bonus armor, uh, play it, like, saved itself a lot better. Where this high-end one just doesn't have that sustainability. Yeah, I'm kind of noticing it now with the weather is not set. We weren't at the start here. Or we didn't have rain at the start here either. It's also a pretty long mission, actually. I mean, manning is always, but especially with like waiting for those drones and stuff. 
And the thing I have to watch out for now is uh, to not go too fast <laughs> or try to go too fast and, and get killed once more. Yes, that's that. That's one of those dangerous things that uh, like I have. Is like. Because yeah, they're spawning a lot of elites, and that's uh, that is actually pretty good. I I'm kind of enjoying actually how it's not like difficult, difficult, but um, depending on your build, you might actually struggle here. Hostile radio. Like I was actually considering doing this as a as a purple build, and uh, and. Yeah, that was that would have been a little bit of a hell. Handle the intruders and start evacuation procedures. With uh, with these uh, with these waves. So the mission was pure strike. I I mean, you had the marauders in there. Like, I mean, I found it actually easier uh, with having a group, especially having having an eclipse there uh, with a. With a sticky, uh, with a EMP sticky, and then a red or several reds, <laughs> like that was my. But even then, as well, like having a tech tank or something, because uh, especially having two, it was like that moment where you couldn't hide from both of them or parallax both of them easily. So. Uh, Protected hostiles mm. detected. Electronic lock detected. Mm -hmm. Another thing is, of course, that. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, I want to kind of do this one solo, if you don't mind. I'll, I'll likely do one another run after this one. If you want to join for that one, I'd be fine with it. But for my first one here, I kind of just want to do it solo, just so I like kind of feel how it is solo. Feeling for it. But yeah, here especially again, like now that we know where the where these servers are, like. It's just terminal offline. We'll just go and get them. Although well, that's gonna jam me. Although it's also gonna jam them. Because the thing you could do here as well, if if there was like an eclipse, was while they're immune, they're they're likely still not immune to uh, to just being disrupted. System back online. So what you could do is just put an MP sticky. On, on like the sniper one, the dangerous one, and just get through like that. The aquarium has better infrastructure. If you, you had to. Time with predation and weather. If you convert the enclosure into a fish farm, are you sure there aren't any crocs in there? I should have reset the mission because I would have gotten an extra phone out of it from that first boss. Because now that first boss is likely actually not going to drop any loot or a phone. <laughs> because yeah, he's dropped one already, basically. Yeah, this is a lot of elites, actually. I hadn't uh, really uh, understood that yet. But that's kind of cool. Like, this is actually then a pretty, like... I'm curious to see, especially with later on, uh, maybe doing a four-man version of it. Like if it still keeps high waves of elites, because yeah, those are always dangerous. <laughs> like elites hurt a lot. Medic first. Gosh. So for instance, there the Elma actually hurt me. Where like it, it actually like made that guy punch over and. Made it so that I couldn't actually shoot him. Uh, no. Mari was the director of the DC Aquarium before she turned it into a fish farm. They probably want her to set up a similar operation for the Black Tusk. Food security is a powerful motivator. Agent, I've got eyes on Mari near the Savannah. Oh yeah, I mean yeah, you can uh, you can even go strike her chest at that point and. Uh, 
really set it up high. <laughs> this sniper fight is actually kind of kind of funky, having multiple snipers just at the ready. Game doesn't do that often because yeah, snipers are quite dangerous. My shooting was quite bad. Let's just kill these things. Oh. How did he get <laughs> that? Okay. Wait, why are you still alive? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That's why you're still alive. You can't let the division destroy the clinic. Oh, wow. Even, even a red mini tank almost killed my shield. You and that baby to save them. Because yeah, they of course also now have the perfusion bioreactor. So is that what these people are? They're like immune? They're running away from us? Any demo? But we're trying to help them. I won't let you take them. Mm, drones have gone up already. Oh, he's on the mini. <laughs> I was really dislike the. Actually, this mini gun isn't that bad. The, some of the miniguns have really bad hitboxes where like nothing gets past it, but actually there it helped because also he wasn't firing for some reason. And that reason is likely that he didn't really have a path towards me. Oh, hello. <laughs> sudden dog is sudden. Where did this guy go? He went over here. They're dead. Yeah, I forgot about the sniper that spawns behind us. He's now over there, maybe. Let's just go up here. Well, let's go just go chase him down. Yeah, thank you. I got now the sniper spots. like funky just like went over the railing but just standing up straight up uh where is these last ones no i guess mm. where's the owner I remember this guy being the last one, so let's push him hard.
And now we'll get the drones again. As I said, this fight just takes way too long. Stuff spawns way too much around. Although, of course, that's kind of helps, like, signal detected. make it at least a little bit of a unique fight, hopefully. So, you know, let's uh, hit this one again. Automated defenses detected. Caution advised. Actually, the thing to do here is like if you had a <laughs> if you had a hardware jammer. Remain nearby. Uh, Rogue striker drone detected. Uh, Razorback jammer, basically. Drone detected. Just sit here and just jam all these drones out. Like even an eclipse could just do it with a jammer. Or just put a full blue shield, uh, full blue build on, and just sit in this corner with a bulwark out, <laughs> and just go have tea, go have a break, come back in a few minutes <laughs> after. Because uh... yeah, once you capture this, of course, they all deconstruct. Do some laps around here. And deactivated. Bye. Mm, and at least now we know the engagements here as well, so I know that I can kind of push in and those there's just one extra wave. Hmm. Are they spawning? Oh. oh, they just took a second to, to spawn. This guy. Sniper is dangerous target there. It's also weird as well that it's killed the whole wave and then the next wave spawns, where normally most waves are set up in missions to when it's down to the last enemy, then the next wave spawns. And we made it up to where uh, we uh, stupidly died. And this time I'm just gonna keep a little bit of separation, not take a grenade directly to the shield. I'm recommending you use the infrastructure of a zoo for a zoo. We need sustainable food for the community if we want people to come back. And when people are back, they're gonna be bored and wanna go on adventures. Although, I'm about to take a grenade to the shield once more. Although, actually, he just chose to not fire. That's nice of him. <laughs> he was set up to fire, but he didn't. You know. <laughs> that would be actually cool here if there's actually, like, a <laughs> fight with a tiger or something. Because, yeah, they've, they've gotten out, of course. Oh, 
I'll actually just kill this mini tank. I don't wanna turn and face the other thing until until it's dead. Yeah, that's kind of more the expected <laughs> results here. But yeah, as always, sometimes you can just get blindsided by something and just get destroyed. There's resources over here. <laughs> but yeah, so. Just checking, but yeah, I've checked invaded Manning quite often, actually. So. Know it quite well. There aren't many secrets in it, or any actually like, super buggy stuff. Uh, where's the sniper hands? Take a grenade. I'm just gonna go over here. It's just a dog and her. Shield is back. And let's go kill him. Still haven't found this. Oh, there's the dog. Good job. Yes, priority. I'll just kill the dog with his uh, legs. Agent, there's movement in the bamboo forest near the panda enclosure. I think they're getting. Wait, that chopper lifted off the ground. Interesting. Yeah. Another animation they use often. Um, actually, let's go see. Um, uh, yeah, there's that chest over here, right? Invaded. Yeah, just gonna weapon handling, skill damage, sacrifice. Yeah, this area very much as well. It's good lighting is somewhere where I should uh, do an intro once. Just want to see if they broke something here, maybe. Not nope, that all seems normal. Uh, do we go aviary or do we go the other one? Power source detected. That one is obvious. <laughs> that's that's the first one. That thing had armor and then health. I think that's a very f like they. I can't think of another one that has armor or tidal. This tidal with like that. I don't actually remember if tidal is like. Um, oh, we have two of them. Uh, yeah, there's an armor bar and then, and then health. The shame about the pandas. Like in heroic missions, they're just health, usually. Desperate people do desperate things. They should have eaten the bamboo instead. The breeding program would never... Yeah, I'm trying to remember as well if they like the, the invaded title one, or um, not invaded, the legendary title. Not nothing. We wouldn't have the prenatal clinic without the panda program. It was nice of you to do the scans. It was my pleasure. Getting to see a baby for the first time is um. As yeah, here's the their black disc chest here. Jaishi had forgotten about the last time that we did invade it. We did an invade the Manning at some point, I remember, and I actually forgot about that chest, <laughs> about that key chest. And then I was uh, looking at the footage and going like. Or well, was it like not look? But like I had the stream on the background while doing some other stuff. I was like, "Wait, there's a key chest around here somewhere." <laughs> then uh, my brain went, "Oh yeah, is that there's um there's nothing here, right? Uninvaded, no. Yeah, yeah. There's the key chest and a normal chest." And then, uninvaded, there's a chest down here as well. Oh, well, Reese. Oh, no, there's special ammo. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of chopper sounds happening. I'm not seeing many choppers. Um, 
couldn't overdo it here. Could actually, yeah, I should go up here and fight from here without without having a height disadvantage. Because yeah, they can actually hit me be, uh, over the shield if they're high enough above me. Can't go underneath here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here. I'm pretty sure there's not like even resources or anything here. Right? No. Hey, you have this tub of blue, which uh, isn't food. And yeah, this this parachute always like this should be loot. <laughs> this should be hang like hanging higher and being loot. Because yeah, it is one of those one of those parachutes. This is different than. Normal, right? Yeah. Very much so. Right. Let's go uh, see what this part becomes. Is that here normally you would have turrets? Okay, we have a heavy boss. At least I'm guessing that's a heavy boss. Might be a dock, but likely more heavy boss. Chopper sounds again. We aren't aggroed, so I get to... Oh yeah, it is heavy ones. Uh, medic first. Him second. I won't push in here. I'll just play it distance. I don't want to attempt the third one. Attempting two already, kind of, <laughs> is not what I was after. Although my death was just, just bad play on my end. And sometimes that's okay. You, you get complacent. You run into some too much stuff, especially on a somewhat, like, not the best version of some builds. Like this one. And yeah, sometimes the meta thing to do is to die a lot, as we all know. Like double heavies. Although heavies don't, like, scare me much. Like, the named one will kind of do a lot of damage if he uh, miniguns me. As long as nothing, like, really gets in my shield. He instantly got his thing back. Okay. Just use the <laughs> legendary resistance to uh, not have his chain <laughs> yeah, dropped off, it seems, apparently. How's it going? Come in, dipshit. <laughs> well, he's dead. Okay, I think we should get you out of here, just in case. Something wrong? Nothing you should worry about. But I'd prefer to get you somewhere more secure. Too many access points. We need an extraction. Send the helo. Meet us at the atrium. <laughs> uh, you there, dipshit? That's... We got one good line as well. Right here. here should be the chest here. Ooh, Marauder drawings. Well, this is a little bit chunky for a marauder, I know. Those are in DARPA as well, by the way. The same ones. Are we going all the way to the boss fight area? Yeah, that's pretty long, especially for. 
a manhunt mission. Well, at least, well, the manhunt missions usually are kind of long. Um. Oh well, three choppers. Yeah, this is actually like this is good. They they put because yeah, you you can do this mission of course on story and stuff, which you just want to get it done. And, I mean, that's also the recommendation for, like, when you go and get the skills, just, just do it on normal. <laughs> uh, the skills from the other Manhunt missions were... Uh, from previous season ones. But, for instance, here, like, these are actually... Like, these are decent enough engagements, actually. Like, a bunch of elites. Black Tusk. Warhounds supported by enemies. These aren't like the super simple fights that some of the <laughs> like they've toned down, especially the bounties were pretty toned down this season to being a little a little bit too easy actually. I think. Uh, where's this one? Should kill the other guy first because he, he's the healing box guy. Oh, come on, stand up. Let's just finish her. I'm taking you down. Annoyingly, the healing box is up there and I didn't really have a shot on it. So. Is there any geometry issues here? Because yeah, I don't feel these rocks were ever climbable. We'll grab this chest. As yeah, we're basically have done the entirety of manning <laughs> at this point. Because yeah, we're one room and then the boss fight normally, but then I'll go get the key chest over here and the normal chest. Even more chopper sounds. Uh, it's my of a so modified dog. It's still fine. Modified. I mean, it's, it's alright. Well, they aren't modified, but like the legendary Roosevelt ones are pretty chunky. Although, yeah, it would be cool if like they could have, uh, you know, other stuff uh, like maybe if they had EMP missiles or stuff like that could be could be interesting. I'm trying to remember on invaded you don't even you, no no you still come this way right yeah 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 because yeah here is like the chopper drops oh they spawned behind me. Oh, this will be good actually. This will pull people into into like the woods here, and maybe they'll see the key chests and stuff. And there's two snipers. Nope. We got another. I kill that thing. One wave, yeah. Wait, am I doing something or just back to the door now? Oh, find a key card. Okay. I would feel, uh, and uh, one of the enemies would drop that, but apparently not. Is it in here? Or is it these are openable? <laughs> okay. <laughs> just by just by knowing like that these are openable. <laughs> uh up there. Oh, 
Take this. Put it in your ear. I'll let you know when it's safe to come out. These are division comms. You'll be safe in there. I'll let you know when you can come out. Hmm. Okay. I didn't show a name there. Uh, I feel. Or I'm just didn't. Uh, at least I'm like on the subtitles. Where is that helo? En route to the atrium. Negative. Atrium is compromised. New rendezvous at the arena. Copy that. We don't have much time. Get to the arena. Oh, we're going really all the way. Okay, nice. Well, actually, yeah, with, with men and manhunt missions, it is kind of like. Well, let's just get this mini tank out of here. They hurt. The mini tank is fucked up. Yes, the mini tank is fucked up. You're welcome. I'll well, we grab these chests along the way. Although I'm kind of expecting here a second wave at least, like likely behind me as well. Ever. Okay. Oh. I am surrounded. I need him gone. I don't want a boss with a full overheal on them. Got him. These drones from... Okay. I get the feeling these drones are just spawning and not being actually deployed. Because I don't see any many drone controllers. Turned around for that one just to take it on the body instead of on my shit. Yeah, these are... Oh. That's not the greatest thing ever. Some ammo here. Let's go kill the... Let's go kill this gal. Oh, okay, she's... Okay. She's causing it. <laughs> yeah, she dropped a collectible as well. But do we then get still get the boss room? Because yeah, there was a male voice there as well. There's also that like. Hey, Mari. It's um Wally, actually. Wally? Where the hell is Manny? We sort of agreed he should sit this one out. That was probably a good idea. Torres is on her way. I'll tell Manny you're okay. No, please don't. Just wait until we're back. In case anything happens to us, I don't want to get his hopes up. <laughs> it's somewhere new. Um, okay, we still get to go do something in the boss room there. I'm just checking these other areas if they maybe like sneakily added something in, but they haven't so far. It's likely not in this case either. I can actually go over this. Oh, you can't jump down on that side. Neither here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. But what's then the final boss here? Is it that one? 
Because I'm trying to think of like male things that have been set up, especially with Sokolova, like the hunter that she got from from the other dude, from the homeland guy. Like that seems that's like my guess here. Because yeah, we've killed two names. So do we do we get a hunter? Oh, it's invaded layout, of course, yeah. I can't remain here. Deal with that. Friendly is dead. Shouldn't put my back. It shouldn't be up here. Because my back is to one of like the where normally a spawn point here would be. Um should maybe first go kill the mini tank. And then its owner. I'll go do that. Because yeah, up here there's no no spawn point, so uh, I'll, this still seems like the good place to be. Warhound. Interesting. I mean, luckily for me, I'm gonna build. Oh. They say that, but they actually hurt. Though, of course, I'll just wait it out a second. Then. What are those grenades? This is my question. Also, how are these guys not dead yet? I don't know. We should take the other one out, hopefully. Good. Ah, that, that's a grenade. Sir, you annoyed me. Therefore, you shall die. That thing annoys me as well, therefore it shall die. I'm gonna kill the sniper first and then the warhound. I was like, yeah, I'm using a lot of ammo. Wait, she's up there. Is she actually shootable? She hasn't jumped down. Oh, yeah, she is. Oh, who was the male voice then? Because yeah, that other named was also a female voice. Oh, <laughs> named snipers—they hurt. It's gonna kill this girl first. The other one. If I can, I can find her. There she is. Just in case that spawns a wave. She hides away. Feel there's a. There's this here. Again. Uh oh. I feel that might not be. The shield did not want to come out. That was weird. I really want to kill the other one first, just in case. Yeah, we have another wave. But then I'll use this time to kill her. It's interesting that she doesn't jump down. Because, yeah, I was underneath her, basically, <laughs> earlier. Uh, let's go after the owner first. Oh, 
Was it also if she stays up there, like she's like easy prey for an eclipse? <laughs> like this mission actually with uh, with like red and an eclipse will be so much easier than uh, it is for like solo player with a tech tank or well any any build. Maybe. She's likely where the the room is of uh, of the echo. Yeah, it's because they have that, of course. Um, I'll go get the boss loot first because we might yeah not get. Was yeah she? It dropped at my feet, of course. I actually didn't check if. Did give a third phone, but we'll see that in a second. Can we jump down here? Okay. Don't shoot! It's me! I'm coming out! <laughs> Can I go in? Yep. Oh, we even get an interact. Uh, let me make sure I grabbed everything. It's likely this is the, the leaf. Agent, you can shoot a flare. Taurus is on her way. Why would they do it like this if there's... It's going to be one more fight, isn't there? <laughs> oh. Okay. As we get hunter jammed, or well, the hunter, like, wait, what? <sighs> what, you miss me or something? Thank you, Agent. <laughs> Are you okay? Did they hurt you? Hey, I'm fine. I'm fine. The baby? So far, so good. Even got some prenatal vitamins. In the scan. Yeah, everything's normal. We're not out of the woods, but their doctors say she looks healthy. She? It's a girl. Oh. They took care of you. You, you. you were safe with them? No. No, I wasn't safe with them. That psycho was only good to me because she knew she needed me alive to get what she wants. Well, what does she want? <laughs> For you to give her the White House. And to install her organization as rightful military force. To stand down and give her legitimacy. What else did you expect from a woman like that? Maybe we should just give her what she wants. Fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with Wally. Giving in to people like that never ends well. We can't do this alone. Well, we don't have to. Where's Vic? Sokolova has him. Well, then, you get him back. He knows her operation. He helped build it. You want to take her down? And you want to protect your family? Get Vic. Where's Kelso? Back in New York. We need to get sleep. We have a big day tomorrow. Thank you. Nat, I just wanted to let you know, the asset is in place and awaits your orders. Excellent. Alright. Uh, wait, Vic? Victor? Like, Victor Malik? <laughs> Pink Dolphin. Okay. <laughs> the, that's the reward for this one. Complete the debrief mission to finish the manhunt. Okay. Yeah, that was of course yeah that, that was that patch right that, that was on the on the thingy here because i'm trying to think of other vict like victor or like i'm because uh, yeah what's chernenko's first name but yeah he didn't help build like he's he's not that into it oh yeah we got that patch the pink dolphins um I was expecting another fight, and also when we called in the chopper, we had 
like there was a moment of uh of like a hunter uh hunter thingy um like hunter jamming happening And also, the asset is Mary uh, then a double agent? Is that like what the... Because I don't feel she would... Like, she doesn't make sense to be a double agent. Safe area detected. We have another... Why is this... Uh, what is this new here? Oh, a main mission. Okay. Meet Mary saying, okay. Uh, just gonna clean up inventory here first. Although I should not get much. That was a long mission, but that was, that was fun. Kind of. Let me actually catch up here. That silver table chair. Uh, oh, <laughs> and uh, hello, uh, hello, uh, Toasty, and uh, thank you for uh, for uh, the vote of confidence there and uh, subscribing and. Uh, Always appreciate it. Uh, never required. Uh, I'm 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 good <laughs> on like the financials and stuff. But I always appreciate uh, yeah uh, the the vote of confidence and uh, yeah very much uh, very much thank you my friend. <laughs> and I've spoiled you uh, as you came in uh, apparently then. Well, I I luckily myself uh, got got to uh, not be spoiled so far. Uh, so. I got to, which is always kind of fun, uh, at least like uh, going through it without. Uh, Hostile control point nearby. Mm. Oh, I feel this part has changed a little bit. I don't feel this missile launcher was here. And I'm curious to see what she is. Oh, actually, wait, what was what was this doctor actually? Does he do actually anything? Is he like a barber or something? Like, can I interact with him and do anything with him? Nope. Okay. That's it as well. Sorry about all this. Hopefully we can breathe a little easier with this thing back online. <laughs> this thing. Thanks for getting me back. Frankly, I'm worried what would have happened to Manny if you didn't. He's a little... He doesn't take loss well. After his uncle, he lost himself in the work, and if he had lost me and the baby, I don't know that he could have come back from that. Thank you for reuniting our growing family, Agent. Okay, it's like a defense. Okay, <laughs> okay, those things. Although, of course, yeah, most people do have a... Oh. But wait, we didn't... Hmm. Oh, the male voice was the heavy. Oh, that's what you meant there. Okay. Oh, yeah, of course, we had the heavy named. Wait, but wasn't, the, wasn't that voice line after that? So I'll fix up my camera. Um... The thing was there was there was this like voice line and that was without although I um, I may have missed it just but there was there was like a voice line that didn't have a name above it in the subtitles. That's usually why I have the subtitles on to just get all the names and stuff and see who's saying what. Um but uh, and that's usually what they do for uh, for hunters. <laughs> they just leave out the name. Or if they don't want to like guy because I was kind of hoping for a hunter fight with <laughs> with this. Uh, they they're always fun, like like we had with Schaefer. Uh, because I'm guessing that that was all of it, and I'm very pissed off because that means that this thing is not this season then. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Wait, but then how many other things are there here then that still like needs to be stationed? Because you have that, you have the shooting range. Like you have, is there like any, is it this project is just a laptop, so that that's already fixed. You have the upstairs here with this. 
Oh, we're still gonna get a dark zone officer, although, well, we have a menu for it anyway. Hostile control point. You have the specialization one, which this one is actually super handy because you can just uh, move your specialization without <laughs> having to uh, like go into a video. There's a shooting range, and what else then? Like, I was totally expecting... Yeah, that vendor is also just for laptop anyway. Crafting and recal. Well, just crafting and recal anyway. Ransom? Oh, wait, that's, that's Ransom, okay. Um, <laughs> God, the dog was named Ransom. And you know what? Seeing as we saved her, uh, saved her mommy. Let's let's give him a, let's give the good boy a little bit of a little bit of a woo wee. Here you go, buddy. Is this animation endless? Or again, okay, no. <laughs> it just ends on its own eventually. Is it a pilot? So the shooting range is still not fixed. This could be something, but it's still yeah. Severe threat alert, okay. I'm just trying to see if there's like any other signs, like literal signs <laughs> on the ground of uh Is it that leads to that garage entrance kind of place? Farm here. This will likely be someone as well from next season then. Storage. Strange that in the storage area there's there isn't a stash at the moment. Okay, so that okay, so we have farm and we have storage and we have shooting range then for next season. So I was really hoping for the shooting range. Just for having maybe new things that they would add with it, or maybe a better DPS meter, <laughs> for no particular reason. That would be nice, quite, quite, quite frankly. Um, yeah, exactly. That one, the the one basically because yeah, uh, that voice line was in when we were heading up towards uh, like the room before the before the final room so that was after the heavy but uh, I, I should just watch rewatch i'll uh, i'll catch it on the rewatch or if we uh do a, another run or something oh, control point detected. um we got 15 levels meaning that i should actually have gotten let's open this Oh, no, not like that. It's open event details. There we go. Oh, we still have like a tiny amount before we actually get the 15 levels. Because, yeah. And then we get the cash there. Um, just going to see what the invasion is. And if there's any farmable things that I kind of maybe want. Like Yuzina there. Or ARs, which are on over there. I'll go uh, clean up this character, I'll grab an Eclipse, and uh, we'll uh, jump into some matchmaking where we get a few parts of the invasion. Well, it depends as well what they... So, yeah, with their having captured four hostages, they... Uh, like likely next season, I mean, the ones that make sense to really go after are especially uh, Chernenko, of course, because that's that's dangerous, <laughs> leaving him out there. Uh, Cindy, we need to we need to get our girl back. We need to uh, have our drone operator at the ready to uh, help us. Um, I'm trying to remember. Who, yeah, there's the other guy, of course, that they captured as well. 
which I'm trying to think of now. Uh, oh, the strategist, but the strategist doesn't matter. The, the outcasts are basically, although actually that's likely going to be a thing then uh, that's because, yeah, just to mix it up, they would want to have different factions per season. So maybe next season it will be Black Dusk and Outcasts. Like they're using the strategist then to maybe. Uh, um, but this is, of course, all speculation. Like we won't know till we know. Um, this P416, if like if I was a low level thing or something, like this would be a good gun. Would be fast hands with. Uh, with a pretty talentable thing, but to me it is uh, it is uh, not very useful. Thanks for the deal. And yeah, it's uh, always petting the dogs and always not shooting the dogs, especially as well, <laughs> as they do like to run through us and uh, it's quite often make me aim uh, way high. Um, yeah, I'm gonna grab an eclipse on this character. And likely we'll get some invaded missions, which I don't mind because, yeah, we'll get a name out of it as well. And those are always nice. Um, gee, none of them are really worthwhile <laughs> targeted, but uh, we'll just go, we'll just go, you know. And then likely a little bit after this, I'll um, man him. Okay. Deja vu. I have seen this place quite recently before. Okay. Agent, we've located Mari at the zoo. Wait, why is this mission in in open matchmaking? I'd rather not have a repeat of Coney Island. That's weird. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> but that's going to be annoying because a lot of people will be doing this one, and I mean, yeah, the, the stronghold ones, or or like this, these ones usually do show up in matchmaking if you are basically at that point. If you matchmake, you will be very likely to get it, but... But to just get it over and invade it, especially like in the evening of uh, when a lot of people are playing, is, is weird, because I was expecting one of the invaded <laughs> invasion missions. Um, uh, yeah, actually, if, um, because yeah, I get back out of here and, uh, Comics seems to want to have join as well. It looks like Black Tusk is trying to set up a fort um, here. We can't let we could actually go in, uh, with, and do an invasion. Although, likely not the full invasion, because, yeah, that especially title takes quite a bit. I'd be interested uh, as well. If you're willing to, uh, Give me your in-game name or just the spelling of it. So, so then I can uh, slash invite you. And Palmic, I don't know if you're so actually you're no longer online. Right? <clears throat> um on the other as well. Put this shotgun to something else. No, I mean they they captured a ton of hostages actually. Like, the, the, but yeah, at the at the end point of uh, of uh, the White House mission, because also Chernenko and the strategist as well. Although yeah, of course, Cindy and Mari were really actually like our faction. The other two were prisoners we were holding. But yeah, actually, yeah, the, the strategies especially was like weird to me. Like I had totally forgot about like who that even was. But uh, it might kind of make sense exactly as I like said maybe. But, but also that's just speculation. Like if they, um, if they uh, want to, uh, yeah, I, I guess like Victor Malik. Uh, actually, it's Vikram Malik, isn't it? The battery dude. Um, okay, I'll, uh, 
Mm. Uh, control copy that. Oh. Uh, do that. You have been promoted to group leader. Although likely I'm up for going up to Roosevelt because a title usually takes uh, quite a bit. And then yeah, if you're up for it, we'll just do them with uh, three directives, just leaving out ammo and uh, and our uh, cool skills, and just matchmaking for her, just going through it. Yeah, Vikram, uh, I mean, he also showed up as well last season with the comms as well. So yeah, he, that he was back. Because yeah, that was always weird that he just, we kind of uh, left that line kind of open. Because yeah, he betrayed us and then ran away and uh, didn't uh, really make uh, as a, uh, yeah, raid style uh, or, um, yeah, raid style build. There I see. Um, let's maybe just start it off, and the two of us will, will likely drag some others in. Black Tusk have infiltrated the bunker and have sent a digital forensic team to dig through the old Shade Network hub. We have to shut them down. As yeah, I'll just uh, eclipse our way through here and just watch out for that dog because you won't have a health gate yet. This dog has killed uh, so many agents, more than I feel any. Yeah. <laughs> As, as shown there. And that's just because um, when a player joins another player's world, they, they don't have the, the their health gate for the first few seconds. Meaning that they uh, get insta-sniped. I'll try to help over there with a shock. I don't have any crossbow bolts yet for this heavy, but uh, I'll just give him a shot and the full debuff. We have a second heavy behind him. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's no problem. And yeah, it is. Uh, it isn't super late, but it's also not early indeed. And let's all go grab this chest over here. And these resources. Yeah, that was at least uh, that furthered the story a little bit, at least. Um, like castle is slowly getting rebuilt. I wonder what that asset is. Like that's gonna be the that's gonna be a hunter. Like she's Sokolova still has that hunter from uh, that she got from uh, uh, the homeland security guy. Like that's gonna be gotta be used at some point. <laughs> We can't leave that just hanging. Area outside the bunker entrance. Enemy <laughs> My brain is still like going, uh, it's still in polarity mode, kind of. UAV's going out. And I'm also not used yet to that, like, that not everything doesn't have polarity, so. <laughs> That made uh, spotting stuff a lot easier for a few days. Take a look at what they've been oh, is that all we get for two mana? Okay. 
I'll go put my hive back here, catching a wave that spawns in a second. Download complete. And then fall hmm. back to here. They've managed to compile a ton of corrupted data from the Shade network servers. I had no idea. Oh, that's heavy. Access to this kind of digital forensic software. I haven't done this mission in a while as a two-man, and I'm kind of surprised how little things spawn, actually. Because, yeah, that, that, was, that, was, that was a bit of a display by Black Disc. <laughs> okay, yeah, thanks for joining, Palmic, and, uh, yeah. Uh, see you again, uh, once again, uh, likely tomorrow. Indeed. Uh, why is everything over there? Engaging That's targets. weird. As uh, the Regulus uh, makes them all trampoline. I, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm standing in front of you with this. I'm trying to catch my hive up there. Or in a minute. Should hopefully get every one of them by spreading to the right. There we go. Really? We don't get that final wave? Oh, yeah. As yeah, as I'm usually just in uh, open matchmaking nowadays, so just, uh, the four-man scaling's uh, uh, taken over my brain fully at this point. There we go. Grab the key chest as well here. Another agent has joined your group. Grab this ammo. Mm. In a second, I'll check what our ally that joined us is. He is a high end red without foxes, which is weird. With a uh, chill out. Here's to see actually, so yeah, that's that's not the, that's not the right choice. <laughs> With a stacking crit uh, damage as he is doing there is uh, just ends up giving worse returns per point every point you add in. So you would need to add a lot more crit damage to compete versus Fox Prayer, and that's why we don't do that. But of course, it, it'll still be more than effective enough. It, it'll be like 4 or 5% behind the... Uh, uh, that was a bad game. Behind just the Fox's Prayer version. But in the end as well, it plays the exact same. So why wouldn't you, basically? See if I'm bugged, actually. I'm not. I'm actually completely fine. Uh, there's a dog somewhere in one of these doors. I can't swap to Oxy because my fire camp is uh, out of uh, out of. Uh... Uh, he's over there. Hopefully he will despawn because he's out of boundary, but uh, that may take a while. Or otherwise, what it will. Oh, there we go. That's, uh, that's the uh, is doing the solution. Because also otherwise my mine will be available in a second, then I'll go Oxy and, and deal with it. As I do have a few skill tiers, I don't have any skill damage to back it up, but... Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Luckily I didn't have to use it, so I can go back to my fire.
busy. If I had used Oxider, I wouldn't have had it for here. Uh, what I'll do here is put my uh, hive up there. This is one of those weird rooms that is uh, very well randomized. Like There are a few set things that happen. Like The first wave is always upstairs. Later on, we'll have a wave of uh, dogs and snipers, which will likely be the next one. Uh, there will be a wave with too many tanks uh, with controllers, and then also a wave with uh, heavies, with two heavies. But some of the other parts are basically, but like the order is completely random here, making it one of the cooler rooms. This is likely the, yeah. Oh no, actually this is this wave. And I wish they did this more, basically more randomization. Uh, right, that, this is the mini tank one. Likely. Oh, we're already at the two heavies? Because usually the two heavies is the last wave here. Oh, okay. <laughs> So it's three man even? You don't get the you don't get the sniper out, huh? the dogs? Or do we get them and I didn't even notice? But yeah, I feel uh every time in four man there's always yeah that wave with two snipers and uh, two sniper hounds. But apparently not in three man. And actually, somewhere in this room, I will try to find the moment to swap to Jammer Pulse already, just to have it for the next room. Because if I use my Hive here, it won't be off cooldown fully for the next wave, or for the next room. And the next room is the Dog Room. Another agent is now in your group. I'm trying to get a fire onto in there. Just for that one to wear off and fresh one. Okay. Interact with objective. Download complete. Is it this next room really catches <laughs> people out quite often? They're really moving fast on this. And that's uh, that it's just Mostly dogs, meaning that if somebody like rushes in way too fast as well, they'll all get spread out and stuff. And so even here, once my fire is back, I'll actually swap to being uh, EMP sticky as well. Like it is just dogs. Oh, uh, well, Posty kind of knows what to do as well. Because <laughs> yeah, he went, uh, he went MP sticky. Setting up for. When one more thing dies, we'll get heavies. And I'll pop their chests off. I'll grab that big wave of dogs. Yeah, with uh, a few good damage dealers and uh, people that know what they're doing. <laughs> this is basically an easy room. And then with bad way, but bad teams, uh, it, it can be hell. And here as well, I'll grab a blinder firefly for the next wave. Mm. 
which is two heavies. There's a neither likely they'll they'll die very quickly to my allies, but with this is basically guaranteed that they're easy kills. My fire back. I'm kind of want to have the hive back as well in a second. But I'll do that in uh, this part. As well, uh, set up and quick kill the boss. I'll go touch the thing. Watch out. And the only real dangerous thing here is that uh, you get caught out by the waves on the sides, which we're likely not. Files oh. transfer. <laughs> Barely anything spawned, actually. Until you found earlier. Well, this is a good find. Knowing our enemies' intentions will help us defend against them. Well done. And there's completion. Just to see what our last ally was, I didn't inspect him. Striker with the chest version with a Grupo holster with Elmo. Yeah, Saska would be better. Um, yeah, let's start heading south. And we will go do Potomac Event Center. And I'll see if uh, any of my our allies stick around, they might. An agent is no longer in your group. Well, at least I'm, I'm guessing uh, Toasty will stick around, but also maybe <laughs> indeed the other guy is also sticking around. There's sort of a nice moon up there. Mm, as okay, our ally is going in. Toasty's at the White House. I'm guessing he's uh, taking care of his inventory for a second, which uh, is fine. We'll start off with Adam. With him being in the White House, he isn't actually adding to the scaling. Uh, as long as, our, as you're in a shared or safe space, you aren't uh, increasing scaling. So you can do that and uh, not be like a burden to the team. And then once he's ready, he'll likely join back up on us. And worst case, even if we wipe, it's the first one. So it's not like the end of the world. So Ally is also doing good damage. He's, he's doing the killing thing pretty well. Let's get our fort as well. By the time I got my crossbow out, his chest was already broken. Let's see what this guy is. He is a little bit more of a jumbled mess, but that'll be fine. We have, uh, we have what we need. Proceed to the docks and do a sweep. Though I think. Uh, Toasty has gone uh, to a different setup. As I see, his skills are very much, very much towards healing. I think one of those reds intercepted my crossbow bolt in the end. There. <laughs> uh, by the time my second one reached him, he was already dead. Which, you know. Fills me with a lot of confidence. Good to see high damage teams. <laughs> As, uh, those aren't always a given. Multiple hostile 
patrols are moving on the docks. Oh, we have a, a fire buff as well, so that gives it away what uh, what Toasty went to. Try to get a fire going. I didn't, but I'll, I'll get the attention of this heavy and help kill. Intercept something in there, hopefully. I'll try to. I want to push in deep and get my hive underneath, like that wave, especially. Although, of course, I'll set them on fire as well. See that heavy trundling in? Everything here is on fire. I can help with this chest. And off it goes. I'll give Toasty an inspect, which uh, you know is mandatory, of course. Ah, a, a red, uh, redify with a grupo backpack. Uh, oh, yeah. I've got We're waiting for our fort. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, of course, uh, one of those. Uh, some black tusk Personal inventions. As I, I'll, I'll grab the chakrans there. This because they'll help in a second as well. I'm gonna go check. Here there isn't an invaded. There isn't special ammo here, right? Yeah, it's only that. That flame or uh, the chakrans underneath there. Here, the first thing that spawns is a heavy, so I'll uh, get set up to intercept him. Or attempt to. Although, actually, somebody basically directly went through his chest uh, in, in no time. Is that, that FI buff makes uh, makes everybody a lot stronger. So we need to ensure that the entire site is neutralized and secured. It's very strong. By the south side of the building, and look for a way inside the Potomac Center proper. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, definitely uh, the time to do it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's on its own. It's just a strong build, or or it is like a medium red, high end red. And then, yeah, because it's giving that uh, group buff, it, it actually yeah, does really well. Although, of course, yeah, four mans isn't where it exactly shines. Yeah, it's much, it's much shinier in <laughs> in eight man content, but it's still with especially good team members like we have here, providing the buff to like me and and that other red that is uh, using it pretty well. Then, uh, then it's still like a good choice. So I've used a lot of chems apparently because I'm out of chems. Go get these bleed rounds as well. I was hoping my hive would reach up to up there, but of course it doesn't. Because yeah, one of the things here is in a second, two uh, medics will spawn over there, so I'll uh, intercept them already by as they uh, spawn just out of nowhere. <laughs> They just uh, blink into existence. Of course, uh, this lady dropped some loot. You know, for me, it's mostly just for the resources. Oh wait! I, I got it now. Uh, cool skills is active, which is of course because that was my world settings. Because I had that on earlier for uh, 
the <laughs> the the manhunt that I did. Uh, but of course, in the mission, in the last mission, I changed that to be you know the normal tree of a fog of war and the, the tree. But yeah, that that does that doesn't hold, of course, uh, across missions. Um, I'll be sure to uh, change that to be. Uh, Oh, that was Petra. I thought there was actually problems there. You've got your objective. Don't let anything stand in your way. And that's of course messing me up with when I toss out my hive, I lose all my fire cramps. Surprising that I didn't like notice that more. <laughs> but yeah, it's with a strong team, and then like it doesn't matter if I'm like don't have my cams at the ready or something because stuff will still die even even if i'm not the one doing it it's basically got no survivors there i'm gonna go up here that's on fire get this get this chest <laughs> my ally uh, had the same idea because yeah usually if you're pushing too far here you have to run all the way back so you might as well go get it now and stuff that, that way was that way was done for already network server detected find it and if possible create an uplink we need to know what's on that server As, yeah, as always, I'm uh, pretty terrible at being a group leader as, uh, as I keep uh, forgetting to like set missions correctly and stuff. It's usually why I uh, have Selby around to, uh, to do that for me. <laughs> and here as well, an Eclipse can actually set this thing on fire before it jams it the first time. Taking care of the jammer on its own. System reactivated. And I'll be sticking up here, basically. Normally, I would put my hive basically over there, but of course, I can't. Huh? The server terminal. Stella uh, is doing it well, and uh, Isaac should be able to link to the server through that terminal. I'm hoping our other ally will uh, server. Establishing will move away from where he is. Yeah, because <laughs> he was about to be <laughs> uh, landed upon. Make sure to maintain the uplink. I'm just trying to grab a target that kind of is standing still and also like will survive for longer than the <laughs> quarter of a second that I need to actually ignite my fire. We have a heavy there. And yes, Dusty's doing a good job of uh, keeping me healed up even when I'm taking chip damage which is which is nice because yeah that that of course uh, keeps our buff up gonna refire on this guy we have one more wave with two snipe with a sniper and two heavies that's the sniper Looking where the heavies are. I'll chest break them. The other one's downstairs. That was a miss. That was a hit. But yeah, it's also surrounded. And yeah, we have uh, 25 seconds before we get mission completion because <laughs> they didn't uh, think uh, we would get uh, that people would clear this out as quickly as uh, people do nowadays. As yes, our ally is waiting at that door because he likely knows as well no more that uh, well there is uh, one more crate back, back here that Hope we get some intel we can use. gives us a little bit more loot. And yeah, likely he will, uh, if he still needs this mission, he will likely stick with us as well. And uh, he goes to will as well. As we'll go to Invaded Lincoln as well, which uh, is very much was also last week available. 
I'll, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll uh, turn off cool skills here. Just because also a lot of people do, like just dislike it and they don't want to deal with it and I don't disagree. And uh, three directors is uh, plenty enough. In this way, I get to have my hive as well. Agent has left your group. I'll uh, start matchmaking. Oh, yeah, we can go in with the three of us. Black Tusk has taken over the memorial to control uh, access to the bridge. Get a shot out. Get that first wave. Another agent is now in your group. I always forget what the order here is. Oh. Oh, there's a sniper dog, that's... Oh no, grenade dog. Oh, <laughs> and, and that guy as well. Take the med pack here just to get that, uh, you know. I always forget what the order is. They, they come with a chopper and then they spawn from either side of the doors, basically. Uh, as our ally went to Oxy, which is a choice here. You can kind of do it, but... So. It's a little bit overkill. Okay, it is the left side. <laughs> But yeah, his oxy will kill everything. As is, we have a, a person floating in mid air there. I'll send my fire over there, which, which is the next wave. So retrieve my hive. And also. Standing from here, I can kind of add my fire to the mix here. Well, if I actually aim that correctly, but also, yeah, these waves are dead. Just to see if he's set up correctly, he's not. Because, <laughs> yeah, Oxy is one of the few skills where uh, uh, damage to targets out of cover applies. And uh, that's very strong for it. So it is always a good choice to have that on there. So yeah, usually with a oxy build, you go contractors, you go oxy, you go damage targets out of cover from the foxes. Can I engage already? And the thing I'm gonna do is put my hive on this side. Bad shot. One of these shot rounds. So I'll go get him. I'm gonna assume he has that, that chopper. I'll go get this door in a second. Stuff like elites and stuff will actually survive Oxy well enough. Here's to see what our last ally was. He's a Hunter's Fury. This blue is weird. Uh, one armor region roll, which it's not gonna gonna do a big difference. Oh uh, yeah, damage to target. Uh, um, um, DTA works as well, so yeah, usually contractors on Fox. The thing especially what you want, though, is to have damage targets out of cover because uh, nothing that sits in Oxy <laughs> will be in cover because uh, if they're in it, uh, they will try to get out of it, uh, meaning that they leave cover. <laughs> And then damage to health does not apply. It's also the reason you kind of usually want to go with a shotgun for it. Uh, because, yeah, you can have uh, a DTA and damage targets out of cover. Uh, oh, there he is. <laughs> I heard a voice line from, like, over there, but I, I, I couldn't, like, see it. But, of course, Fog of War is active. 
which wasn't active the last mission, so I got used to it not being active. As yes, we get the chopper over there. I'm gonna assume he has that. I'll go I'll go set up here, which is going to spawn in a second over here. Because yeah, all of those choppers, Oxy works really nice against. Oh, and also as well here, he's getting buffed by uh, by that FI as well, which helps a lot as well for, for Oxy. Because usually you do it with glass, so that uh, extra 25 from total skill damage usually is only competing with your backpack talent only. So, or well, adding into your backpack talent only. Which will also be total skill damage. Actually, I didn't actually catch what is what his was. Uh, combined arms, which is one of the good options. For a crossbow on that heavy, crossbow on this dog. Although miss on that dog. I should be out of range of that dog. Put my hive over here, the next wave spawns there. Mm, yeah, that wave was just broken. <laughs> that hit me in the back like me. Oh, that's a that's a warhound still. Yes, yes, so we'll make our way through this invaders. Hopefully, uh, nobody rushes the next room. Because that's the only real dangerous room here. Because that first wave that spawns is all elites. And especially if uh, you let them spread all the way out and stuff, it can actually get <laughs> annoying. It's most people will know. There's nine times it goes well, and then there's sometimes a tenth time where we struggle as a team. The chest over here as well. This guy knows it as well. Although, of course, this was invaded last week as well, so it's fresh in people's minds, usually. Yeah, we're getting components as well, which I have used for this week's... Uh, this week's uh, SHD thingy, so... I'll get a fire going, he'll likely put an Oxy on to meet them, and that'll uh, double team them. I'm gonna put my Hive over here, which will be for the next two waves as well, if, if like, enough stuff survives. And yeah, we melted that first wave well, so that worked well. Is it? One over here first, and then usually over by that door on the right side there. And then that player knows it as well. I'll use my shock rounds here. I'll use my shock rounds here as well. Curious to see at the end numbers how how much the oxy did. Because yeah, this very much is an oxy mission. Where an oxy can work really well. Although I'm hoping he won't stick with it for I mean he can. We we have enough damage on the other people. Um with um Roosevelt, just because Roosevelt is a lot more spread out. 
We have more spawns from multiple places. Because also actually in a second we'll we'll have the boss room. Their oxy will work as well. Well, because yeah, they'll jump into it basically. I'm gonna crossbow bolt or at least attempt to the heavy. Shock round some of these. Taking the dog down with it as well. Try to catch something. Get a fire going. Yeah, these shark rounds are really handy. Use it to get a dog to stop. And of course, on kill, they spread as well. I'll go after this heavy. Although he's actually chest broken and stuff, so he's dealt with already. <laughs> Somebody's already shot that thing. Which actually, yeah, the, the, the Oxy couldn't have done more than he did there anyway. He, he had Oxys underneath that heavy, <laughs> he went for the loot. Which is sometimes something I do often as well, just like my job here is done. Uh, uh, Actually, hmm. I, sh I should have maybe swapped there to foam, and we could have uh, done something uh, extremely uh, cool there. But oh, even with a fire, what I can do is land it there. I didn't catch as much as I usually do there, but I caught some more of it there. Uh, that spin happens. As it, uh, the names in a second will spawn also. Just three bosses will spawn from, from the same spot, basically. I'll uh, shock round them, keeping them in there. Just sit in the Oxy boys. And yeah, the Oxy player himself, he has Murakami as well, so he actually has a really long duration <laughs> on these. And yeah, he can't go loot until he uh, until it dissipates, which. Uh, and I feel there is f still flame rounds here, even on invaded, which there are, and I'll take them because well, we'll, we'll go to Roosevelt as well uh, if uh, everybody's willing, and maybe even even title as well. This was the last place they could hide. Time to get topside. I'll mark Roosevelt. I'll go. Um, I'll go really quickly to the White House and clean out my uh, clean out my inventory, and then jump back over there. <laughs> you can think of a lot of reasons why they shouldn't be allowed to. Go get them, Agent. Two very uh, low-level players there, which is always nice to see. It means uh, people are coming into the game. So we got a boomstick, we got a stage left, nothing worth keeping. Everything goes, and I go over to the stronghold unlocked. Yes, I know. Yes, I, I want to go there again. I, I totally agree with you, but this is unlocked, and I want to go there. Can I go there? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that cutscene is always unskippable and always annoying. Uh, I'll uh, I'll do this again, and the group is eligible as well, which is nice because yeah, we picked up of course one person like on the <laughs> on the last part of it. But yeah, the entirety of the group is eligible. That's nice. Their team's taking samples in the northwest. Your best bet is to head up the guy's staying oxy, which eh. no hiding the gunfire. But with a bit of luck, maybe you can make it work. But uh, this mission is a lot more spread out. Like this wave and stuff, you can kind of do it. But, uh, like the next room, everything's a, a little bit too spread out for oxy.
Yeah. We'll go get the ah the uh Toasty's gone back to uh something with sharpshooter <laughs> at the very least. So likely the ability was on before. As yeah, that drone is actually yeah, very handy here. And uh, I've said many times I, I really like that drone, so I uh, will never uh, dislike somebody else running it. <laughs> As I hear it uh, pretty much shows me exactly when waves spawn. Uh, we get to have fog of war and not have to deal with it, basically. We got shock rounds here as well. Um, I'll take them with my pistol. Mostly for later on with the... I have eyes on the with some of the bigger rooms. Can be all handy. Like they're in a hurry. Good news for us. Who knows what those assets are going to do with the samples from the Roosevelt quarantine. Oh, another guy actually did swap off of Oxy. <laughs> he, uh, he agreed with me. There's a... I'll get that rusher because she's most likely to spread. As a tech 50 went for <laughs> I feel that. Made it spread very well. So uh, swap their polarity. Oh no. Oh no, wait. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sad. I'm also surprised we haven't had rogue agents at all. Uh, and uh, likely I've jinxed it there and we'll have some here, but also wouldn't be a jinx because we have a we have a strong team. We'll we'll deal with it. Oh yeah, they spawn on the left side here. There's likely more with him. I only got him. Oh yeah, the thing to do here especially is to take this right side, which I'm gonna do here. Go up here. System curtailed. Be where I am here. System. So from here I can kill this jammer. In a second, I'll have my cam again. I'll kill the other general with my cam. I'm putting me back into the game. Although, actually, from here, I would be out of range from the other jammer as well, so... That, that already works. As one of our allies is downed. He's in a spot that we can't really get to until, like, the end, because there's stuff spawning on top of him. But also, this fight is basically over. That wave spawns. Uh, this heavy. I got his right arm actually, so I'll, I'll fix that. Okay, <laughs> going for the actual chest. Vital signs critical. Yeah, this fight still even even with that like, getting it quickly uh, it's still got messy but uh, this fight can go really messy because yeah jammers are good ways for teams to wipe but they burn so you can you can use that against them Second armor break when I really shouldn't. I've used up all my med packs. See what I'll do just for safety's sake, because this next fight might also be. While my allies are running up, I'll go to a safe house and I'll come back. Uh, getting me some med packs. 
and unlikely be back before they actually get into that fight. Because they should have put me on top of the wing, which is not too far behind them. Or actually, well, <laughs> they even put me on top of them, which is even nicer. Okay, well, take that shot. I'll add that to there. I'll add that to there. I don't remember if the fire rounds are here on Invaded. I feel they aren't. Looks like they've left some of their samples behind. But I'll go have a Sounds look like a over here. To destroy no. those samples. It's only on normal. Oh yeah, here of course we have uh, we have these guys. Oh, let's break the other two. And what I should actually do is swap off my hive. My hive isn't. Um, like it'll be useful here for this fight because I'll go do this with it which is to catch that wave in a second That way spawns there. Get those crossbows because I, uh, I use them all. <laughs> Could use some more. But yeah, likely I'll swap my uh, hive to be a jammer pulse in a sec. Yeah, that's much more. That's much more beneficial. Yeah. Looks like the biohazard team is in full retreat. They're still toting samples with them. We can't let them get those samples off site. We'll do that now, so I will. Just also to check that my audio isn't out of sync or anything. No, it's fine. Yeah, they spawn pretty far here, and we can go uh, do that to them, so we will. So jammer pulse here as well. No hound actually with that wave. Quite often there is, but this time there isn't. I'm trying to remember the order of spawn here, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, uh, it's that, and then they come down with choppers behind this. Also, a grenade on top. Hard to <laughs> find the heavy in there. But we had two choppers here, but apparently it's only one. And yeah, just using those shock rounds intermittently just to make these uh, assholes sit down. Yeah, I'll leave that one loot. I'll keep up. This Black Tusk team is dug in tight. And this player knows this key chest as well, which uh, is surprising. <laughs> She's nice.
Yeah, we're making our way quite easily through here. Yeah, likely then we'll also do Tidal. We have a good team. Meaning that it uh, shouldn't be an issue. So for instance, here, especially with all these mini uh, mini tanks, just jamming here makes this fight so much easier. And yeah, I'm setting up here specifically for this door, which I feel in a second spawns, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a while since the last invaded Roosevelt because, yeah, of course, all of the invaded strongholds, they, they rotate, so it's likely been like a month or something since the last one. But yeah, it's like uh, riding a bike after a while, you uh, you kind of remember where, where the pedals are. It's going to be Oh, nice. Yeah, sometimes uh, you do get uh, you do get what you're after sometimes, especially stuff like that, which uh, isn't like unicorny. Uh, I'm I'm instantly going just for uh, <laughs> where the because yeah, I was thinking about what I'm saying and uh, not paying attention. I was going for where the explosives are on uh, on uh, normal variant, of course. See about catching someone in there. I didn't. This will though. This is one of those rooms where I quite often over push and get myself into trouble. And I say it and I'm still doing it. <laughs> Especially these are elites and they hurt System. and they jam. But I grabbed the shock runs earlier and I, even System. even jammed I can I can like do that. Especially if you can push up here, then you can do uh you can catch this wave as it's coming now. Which I mean usually you can anyway, like it's not hard to do. Oh yeah, especially going from Vector to a SIG uh, can be uh, good indeed, yeah, feel, <laughs> feeling the range difference uh, should be uh, very much a thing. And also the damage per mag especially, eliminated. depending on if you're playing more solo or more in groups, um, Stop them. Whatever it takes. you, yeah. Like just having that basically almost close to double damage, almost. Uh, as you know, it's like uh, 1.8 times damage in the mag. Serious trauma detected. But yeah, all three are pretty good weapons. The MPX, the Banshee, and the Vector. Especially the 45 vector for these, because you also get that long rail with it. Is the, like it is, I would say, the best weapon with a long rail. Because um, yeah, both the MPX and the Banshee don't. So. Trying to remember what this room was. I don't remember anything specific about it, so it's likely just a fight. Should have waited a little bit longer, turns out. Because <laughs> I was just on auto mode. Yeah. Not everybody was here yet. Uh, that voice line was behind me, I feel, almost. Oh, 
I'll get their armor. Immediate yeah. assistance <laughs> I was going for that sniper, indeed. And she got me. Uh, stop moving. <laughs> Sorry, go back into my cover. There yeah, should only be that sniper left. And I'll take my revenge on her. Oh, actually, there's something over there as well. Multiple things, actually. I feel I did get the sniper in the end. What a fire cam. Uh, yeah, there's a target there. I'll go. I'll go get it. And yeah, especially with this fight, the smart thing usually to do is to move up the right side and uh, basically swap places with them by going all the way on the right side. But also the smart thing to do is to stay as a group. So if, uh, for instance, here he's going to the left, I'll, I'll go in the middle then and just jam everything. No, actually, yeah, no, I'll start moving towards the right. Because one of the things is that later on the boss, of course, spawns behind us. And this one as well along the way. I'll have a jam again in a second. And that will also spawn the boss. Once you've destroyed two of the two of them, the boss spawns in. And yeah, usually they spawn from the left side here as well, a few of them. I'm gonna put a fire on the boss just for uh uh, the bonus damage, and uh, yeah, we have the wave behind us, oh, heavy behind us. Ouch. <laughs> As I, uh... I'm unclear where that came from, though. So that, that's, that's always dangerous, like, you don't know what killed you. <laughs> Is, uh, they can they can do it again. Although I was, here. so I'll have my revenge on them. As I'm trying to catch a fire on the boss again, just yeah for the ten percent for my allies. And off it goes. Was that the biohazard team leader? It's a stroke of luck from the goddamn blue. Do that. Just to get the dog down. Oh, <laughs> I was always assuming we were done, but uh, it turns out we still have enemies to go. Serious trauma detected. So as we get access to title, biohazard team neutralized. Likely we will go do that. And yeah, the, where that player is, he uh, though he hasn't popped it yet. There's a there's a key chest here. That's why he's over here. <laughs> I was just waiting for somebody else to come open it. He didn't want to spend his keys. So actually, I'm curious to see a little bit how we all did. Um, and yeah, we uh, we all did decently. The hunter player was the, although of course also the hunter hunter sphere isn't the best there. I took it on damage, but most of my damage is also like bad damage. It's it's like fire on heavies, which isn't doing much. So <laughs> it, uh, it isn't indicative of a, a truly a great setup. Uh, I'm going to go to a safe house first and then to Tidal just to get med packs and get the clear up of uh, 
armor breaks because yeah, the world is also set to have fragile armor, so fragile armors will persist. Unlikely, um, if everybody's willing, we'll go do a title, and that that will also likely be the last. What I think. Not gonna be easy, but I'll be here to help you out this evening. Mm. And you always indeed uh, having the open talent ones are really nice to have as weapons. Having them with detox, so you can just uh, put whatever you want on them. Yeah, especially yeah, SIGs and stuff are very much, very much, very nice. Feel everybody did f uh, come over here and catch. I Toasty did the same of going <laughs> to a safe house just to clear up his uh, armor breaks. I'm almost considering turning Fog of War off for this fight for, or for this uh, one, but. We'll, we'll be fine. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Dusty says there that he uh, needs a minute. And, uh, we'll give him that. It's going to be a little bit before we uh, even uh, reach a fight anyway. We'll go grab this stuff. None of this scales, but it's still some resources down here. Some chests. I'm always in the habit of going and grabbing them still. If you really want to min-max, there's also a backpack down here. Or, uh, or a resource thing down here. Okay, uh, now find the detonator. The explosion should cause a cave <laughs> that'll put you just inside the wall of the base. So, it's been a while since I've done Tidal, actually. Trying to remember, or at least, well, I've joined that it's that it's this early, but I believe it's here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Risky, but I got it. But if you do stand inside of that circle, you do die. But once you've done title enough times, you kind of know exactly where that <laughs> demarcation is. Uh, I should go over here and uh, grab these shock rounds, as this player knows as well. Because yeah, those those all. One of the important things, especially as an eclipse in title, is uh, grab all of the shock rounds and really make use of them. Because I'm trying to ignite, but the game really didn't want to let me. I'm gonna jammer that thing just, or uh, to disrupt that thing. I should have a jammer. And yeah, I'll just keep Jammer here. Hive can be useful for some of the fights, but the team is strong and uh, the Jammer will uh, ensure safety, basically. There's also, for instance, here, actually, these, these ones you can actually jam and <laughs> they won't shoot at you. There wasn't the chevron in it, and I don't want to climb up there. Encrypted signal source detected. Catch those three. Sounds promising. Could be waiting to intercept Black Tusk comms. Gonna toss a flame grenade over there. No, yeah. Actually, uh, toast these with me as well in here. A lot of people leave this wave to like land. <laughs> That's very dangerous. Thankfully. As it's uh, FI here. As I, I see the FI buff once again, so I know uh, Toasty's gone back to the red FI, which oh, so is a good choice. Look for a terminal that you can patch Isaac into. I know, everybody's going for it, so I'm going to assume somebody will shoot that thing. I'll go, uh, actually, 
he will go like that. We'll grab the Adrestia key and uh, I'll go pop this key chest. You need to make sure none of those birds get airborne. As I was a completely in sync uh, Keep an eye on jumping there. And here it will be curious to see if uh, how fast the choppers die, because that's usually an indicator of how well people know this mission. But yeah, you don't need to kill the choppers quickly. You can actually not kill them quickly and have an out of combat in between it. Because there's also a resource over there. I want to be at the head of this, so I'm just going to want to lay back. Find a way to keep those helicopters grounded. I'm looking for Russia. There she is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're going directly for the choppers, which is, yeah. There's better things to shoot. Is usually the thing here. I'll set her on fire. Yeah, yeah. While they're wasting the, uh, the other, especially the hunter went and uh, after the choppers, really right away. Like while they're wasting their time there, they could have shot. Enemies is the is the thing here. Now here we won't get into any issues, but with weaker teams, that 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 can like be the wipe here. So I'm trying to catch where they're spawning, which is over there. I didn't catch them actually. Just because the, the, the foam or the cam was pretty slow. But yeah, as always with all of these uh, objectives is... If you don't have to do the objective yet, just there's no reason to do it. Sounds like you're gonna need all the help you can get. The support team is standing by, but you'll need to figure out a way to get them... Because also a lot of people put themselves in, in like bad positions to get those objectives and then they die in bad positions and then go get them and then it escalates. I'm going to assume that's in reference to the Red FI. Yeah, it's very much an an what's his name? Okay, I'll I'll keep an eye out on it. I was actually keeping out a uh, uh, bit damage in the rolls, <laughs> anyway. So I'll move in here. I'll uh, jam on pulse because it'll spread to the turrets if uh, stuff dies within range of them. And there's also a lot of mini tanks here always. So. They are good. Uh, they are better off from being inactive. I'll push up to here and rejam. Immediate medical assistance needed. Pay the price for it as well. We're pinned down by turrets at the main gate. Find a way to disable them. <laughs> you would think at 8k they would know how to play that what when somebody says something like that that uh, actually yeah there's a there's a thing here Selby talked about it the main gate sector. let me see if i can do it oh i did too early like me there Which is to jam the turrets, but actually, wait, we've already disabled the turrets at that point. No, I should have done it much earlier, actually. So I'll try to catch something as they jump down. Keeping my jammer, mostly because I want it to be, uh, <laughs> as I have a pocket a healer, suddenly, I, I notice. As yeah, they'll start spawning on that side, it'll be heavies as well. I really want to crossbow them. Ah, he turned around right at the worst second. That's one chest. And that's the other. Yeah, I'm keeping my jammer because yeah, we'll have sniper dogs. As uh, I actually didn't reach the sniper dogs, but hopefully something dying will spread it to them. And the dangerous thing here is that they'll spawn behind us as well. I want to move up over here and jam as well. What the? An agent needs 
Uh, and there's Fury Ally. Okay, he is actually chest broken. It's weird that he couldn't kill him. Um, I need to jam. Save myself. And yeah, I have a pocket healer in uh, the drone that uh, <laughs> that has been put on me, which uh, I, very nice. Uh, I, I won't say no to that. We have another heavy. Use some of my shock. Although, of course, yeah. Uh, Oh, we have double heavies, actually. Cross for that one. Cross for that one. Jam them so they don't heal. Ouch. Vital signs critical. And that should be his end. Actually, I think I may have not hit his chest then. No, his his left arm is off. But, uh, now locate those antivirals. That may be too small of a target for the enemy. The support team. We'll stand by here and cover your ass. They uh, check for loot back there and uh, then move on. See if I can get this shot off again once again. Because yeah, there's those uh, uh, enemies that are that are like walking over there. They're just set pieces, basically, of course. But uh, they burn just the same <laughs> as uh, as they died there. <laughs> oh, as yeah, as they're all reds. Yeah. It's good to see uh, other players that uh, know all the chests as well. It's uh, quite a rarity often. As yes, yes, we uh, have our little uh, sit boy sit. <laughs> cool storage device detected. I've got one armor break, but I'm I'm also not too worried about it, so I'm just keeping it. Gonna push in jammer for that dog. Follow it up with a crossbow. Here, there's always usually someone on the minigun, which I'll uh, get off. We're bringing a cylinder on board now. Okay, I'll jammer pulse here to get that dog down near us and there's also yeah there's their jammer pulse over there and uh, i'll just uh, set it on fire and i'll die yeah, yeah, like for instance here that hunter's fury went after it and tried to like go kill it real quickly but they have to put themselves in danger if you kind of know where it is you can kind of easily do it like i did there i'm gonna toss a flame grenade underneath that heavy just to give that bonus Onto him. Gonna cross him as well. He'll spawn from uh, the door I've uh, just set a cam on in a second. Although, actually, yeah. <laughs> Got him there. And I'm uh, gonna use up all my shark rounds here anyway. It's, yeah, I'll have uh, fresh ones here. Additional cold storage device. Right, there's one here. Now also put some in my pistol from here. Support team will secure the first cylinder in the meantime. Oh, as uh, agent has disconnected. Those the uh, apparently was uh, stuck. Zoom is logging out and logging in. To fix it, maybe, or maybe he crashed while <laughs> trying to uh, fast travel or something. 
Which also sometimes happens when you... Um, my fire didn't actually catch anyone. So I'm trying to help this ally out. Yeah, likely he tried to do that, but that also sometimes crashes you if you're not... Uh, <laughs> if you're stuck and the game doesn't uh, know how to fast travel you out, because technically what fast traveling does is actually pat you out. Like we'll all often see people as well in on the minimap or on the map. They'll like w when they fast travel, you will see them like move at uh, very high speeds, basically across the map. This is always an annoying place to get fires going because yeah, it, 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 just high walls, letting uh, making it hard to actually get the shots out. As yeah, here especially I want to get a fire going. Fire going over there. Is if I can get a fire going over. There. Actually, I got the jammer. <laughs> Incidentally, that wasn't. I'm not that good of a shot that I know exactly where it is <laughs> blind. But <laughs> there, I luckily got the jammer. I saw some red. I put the shot towards it, and uh, it was the jammer. Okay. Jammers do burn. Uh, where did they didn't revive completely? Oh, <laughs> this guy isn't dead yet. Just running to get the loot. As we uh, lose a chopper here. This guy knows this chest as well. That helicopter took out the turbines. We're fucking stranded. Wyvern, you need to exfil on foot right fucking now. We need those goddamn antivirals. You want me to run away? I thought you knew me better than that. This is an order, Wyvern. Wyvern, do you copy? Send a send the cam over on him. The support team will protect the cylinders. And I'll crossbow it up. I'm hoping that heavy die is basically where he is over there now. Mostly for one specific thing. Oh. Mm, I should actually, yeah. I'll just shot him. I don't know. It's too bad he didn't die on the ramp. But yeah, uh, anything that dies on this ramp will uh, slide down, and that's uh, quite humorous to me for some reason. Uh, get that going. I'll jammer it up as well. And yeah, I want to be pretty far ahead just so I can uh, catch the next wave as they come out around there. So jammer again. Yeah, this would be normally the chest where if you haven't started the Nemesis quest yet, basically, that would give you Adrastia, which is a specific named sniper. You deconstruct it, you get the scope from the Nemesis, and that'll be your first piece for crafting. Oh, with the foam or with the haze, it's hard to see where my fire should go there. But I think I got it. Rocket 
launchers are loaded. So just for safety reasons, so the team is heading in anyway. I'm gonna fast travel away and back. I have two med packs. Uh, I'd rather have four. This fight can go bad quite easily. Um, and the safer thing to do for me here is uh, exactly what I'm doing. If they've made it into the control room, which they likely have by this point, they uh, I will join back on them in the control room. Yeah, <laughs> they haven't yet. This should put me in the control room. I feel, but maybe not. In worst case, though, it'll be yeah five more seconds wait. I always remember this as putting me in the control room. Maybe I go into this control room and then and then I fast travel. That's usually what I do. Actually, thinking about it now. So usually, once we reach this point, I'll fast travel away and then. Like, while this cutscene is playing, I'll, I'll get mad by something. Oh, we went Oxy, which is a bad choice here. Everyone also, yeah, the, the objectives here, again, is actually smarter to not destroy them right away. Like, it's it's we get a free out of combat if we don't do this, and here, of course... Sadly, we don't have that option now because he oxyed. Ah, you know, we do get out of combat here. Hopefully, yeah, nice. Free heal. Never something to say no against. And yeah, the oxy is nice here though. Uh, although we'll be a little bit lower on damage, um, depending on uh, depending on how it goes. Uh, but the oxy is nice. The oxy can kill the kill the launchers. We don't need to actually uh, spend uh, a person to get the get the launchers off. Rocket launch backup power activated. Launch sequence initiated. Although I don't think he can keep it up the way he's spending his oxys there. I'm going to make use of my shock rounds as well. And you can also set them on fire as well. Although they're really hard shots for, for that. Moving the Oxy player will uh, do the thing that he's most useful at. As, as I said. I'm <laughs> dealing with it. Because yeah, these doors... Uh, yeah, there's too many doors. He doesn't, he doesn't have the staying power for them. That should be on target. I don't want to use my jammer here. Uh, I don't want to use my chem there either, but I'll just do that to me. Uh, that does nothing. <laughs> uh, Wyvern will be immune for quite a while. And she will run out of it. Although I'm back to the gaming there on them, of course. No. Is it? Here, what they should do is uh, send one and yeah, exactly as they did deal with uh, backup power activated, launch sequence initiated. I'm gonna thing going on them later on. Here, we'll have a dog wave of dogs, which is likely uh, around now. And uh, that's why I kept my jammer. Wyvern, what's your status? Wyvern, come in. Wyvern, fuck. And this is actually yeah, one of the cleaner <laughs> clears of a uh, of, uh, title that I've uh, had in a while. It's nice. The antiviral cylinders are secure. And just for completion, we need to do this. Sir, we've got enemy helicopters on approach. Should we knock them down? Negative. Hold your fire. 
Six crit chance. Well, that's a bit of luck. This weapon handling's happening. Managed to secure the antivirals and shut down a key Black Tusk stronghold. Not to mention preventing a rocket attack on the base of operations. Incredible work, Agent. Truly incredible. But there's still more to do. Here's to see what the Oxy. Mind you, well, he wasn't, of course, Oxy the entire way through. But, uh. Because it's going to be between me and him, most likely. I mean, he got the most skills. I got the and most damage. No longer in your group. Although, again, here, my damage is very much also on stuff that doesn't really matter. <laughs> like, it's, it's jammers on... Uh, yeah, he was in a hurry to leave. Um, But, yeah. One thing is here as well. A lot of people don't have the phone that is uh, down there. As everybody usually uh, leaves right after the mission and doesn't go grab that one. I'm going to hop on over to uh, the White House, clean up a little bit. And uh, depending on uh, what those these preferences, I will likely... Um, I'd be up for doing one or two more just missions if uh, there's anything that interests uh, them or me on uh, on one of the targeted mm. thanks for the business let's briefly check just from expertise here. Okay. Josie's already at 20 expertise, so I'm going to assume he doesn't need the names. Two for season pass. For season pass. Oh, is it also the season pass project for today? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'd be up. Uh, I'd be up for that. Uh, although I will then uh, swap character just so I benefit uh, from that as well. And I'm very much also interested in Yuzina as well. I appreciate the trade. So I'll briefly uh, set that up. I think so. Uh, you have left the group. Uh, so I'll uh, log out here. <laughs> yeah, and I'm very much uh, interested in a uh, closer with crit chance, crit damage. So if uh, we get either, we can uh, we can trade. <laughs> so uh, grab big sip. Safe area detected. Um, I'll have to copy from here again. No, uh, another agent has joined your group. It's actually this character has the <laughs> my setup uh, with. Uh, Skill haste status effect, which uh, is just a weird setup, but yeah, I'm swapping to being just the normal one. <laughs> yeah, we're just. Uh, and yeah, I'll uh, take us over there and then start matchmaking because. Uh, actually, in the, one of the recent patch notes, they said that fix this, that they. That this, Matchmaking will persist uh, through uh, fast travel, but out of habit, I, <laughs> I always still. Uh... And yeah, we'll take the same three directives as always. So I see. Get somebody right away, although they are basically a full carry. To the point that they might actually be a. A kick if uh, the other person that joins us also is very, very <laughs> uh, weak as uh, 
They are basically not set up at 1k to be on. Actually, this is likely a, a, an alt of theirs, right? No, I didn't. <laughs> I was too hopeful. Yeah, let's get started already and then uh, hopefully we'll get a fort as well. Is to neutralize Emmeline Shaw, but you'll need to get control of the monorail system in order to reach her. The main entrance will be yeah, well uh, normal zoo isn't uh, isn't too bad. Expecting company. Yeah. Which project is it? Oh, it's the season pass one. Yeah. yeah. For XP is uh, always nice. Let's start with him. a few too many cams here that will will be fine and then we'll push into here here is pretty randomized how they spawn so but um, what I really want is my hive kind of halfway up there Named pretty pretty early on, but yeah. And my hive did make it up to there, though. So. Oh wait, it, it it's it's Gola and or, uh, it's Gila here. It's not Yuzina. What was Yuzina then? Or did I misunderstand? Oh, okay. I, I, yeah, I see that those are two different sentences, which I conflated into one. But I'd be up for uh, doing a bank after this one as well. Bank is pretty fast. <laughs> like the way that I read that was that uh, like, it's both the season pass and uh, which would be yeah, which would be too nice. So uh, understand why it isn't. Um, but yeah. This mission, especially with an Eclipse that um, knows it well, is uh, decently easy. Serious trauma detected. He says as he goes down. Agent down. This is dangerous because our ally is uh, pretty bad. Luckily, they're shooting me. Okay. Luckily, it was a red. We made that messier than it needed to be, but we got through it. And I got some flame rounds. Having those flame rounds uh, and carrying them all the way to the boss is actually pretty pretty handy. So I, so I will. Um, I'll shoot that as well. Just to add those resources. And yeah. Interestingly, this guy does know that there's a chest back here, even if he does not understand. And yeah, we can uh, likely do the B boss. Uh, Intercepting swatting communications. Yeah. Rainer, where are you? We just got to the aquarium. Fucking finally. Yeah, we can uh, likely. Depends on um, how or what our allies nice, are. Because if they. Uh, <laughs> Badumtish, as uh, Thirsty says, uh, it would. Uh, if we can do the B man, because it would be nice. Which uh, is, of course, the daddiest dad pun that we can have today. Okay. 
But yeah, likely, especially with two of us here, we can uh, quite easily go do that. Because if we go over there and the other two like see it, they'll they'll follow us. Oh, get a flame going on this guy. Hopefully. Another agent has joined your group. Just to see what our Rainer, what's your status? last ally is. Um, Oh, sorry, missed some stuff over there. Let me catch up. Uh, um, oh, if I have a, if I have an ox, uh, yeah, there is one on the builds collection. Should be on this character, so two point something. Uh, it is basically the the setup for where it's um, the contractors and fox with glass chest. Although I use um, I use a tech support backpack and I use LMG, but it should actually get upgraded to be an uh, to be a shotgun. Uh, as with a lot of builds, it's a little bit older <laughs> and uh, could use an upgrade, minor upgrades. Because yeah, for instance, Chatterbox, uh, Chatterbox's rate of fire applies to or, or well, to camps uh, that you're holding, especially with. Uh, Oxy, of course, it kind of kind of works well. I'll uh, take the heal here. Oh, ropes. Agent detected. I want to see what my ally is, what that last ally is, and likely otherwise I'll go key. Okay, there's striker. Um. Yeah, no, I'll go PFE here, guaranteeing completion. Just to be safe. I won't have a revive hive for a few seconds, so I'll, I'll just wait that out, basically. And actually here with this fight, PFE is actually... An agent has gone offline. As we uh, lose our Hunter's Fury. Which is annoying, actually, because yeah, we still have five rogues. I'm just gonna fire at them just so they all have their pips. Their... Uh, Doritos above their heads. I need to wait a few more seconds till I have my hive and then I can be aggressive. Because I need the revive hive. Uh, also, I need my eyes. I'm mm, trying to see what's getting toasty, but it looks to be just them. I'll go, I'll go back into this fight. Uh, assault turrets. As yeah, the turrets and stuff, they're not elite. Uh, yeah, they have a lot of the ballistic skills, which is very dangerous for me. An agent needs assistance. I'm disoriented as well. The one, the one on the right is a decoy. <laughs> oh, luckily he. Huh? No. This is a long-lasting disorient. There we go. Make it up to here. I feel I've lost one somewhere. I have a hive. I'll likely go down here. Mostly do the turret. But that's also fine. This is the one to go for. Allies had that other one. I'll keep this one busy. Rogue agent and off we go. I didn't even have to use my hive, meaning that I can 
Let's hop right back to Eclipse. That'll cut the range of their comms significantly. Keep going. Although I would have just swapped back to Eclipse anyway. <laughs> but uh, I wouldn't have had my hive for quite a while. Because it would have been on cooldown. No keepers, but uh, we got it then. We'll give our ally a few more minutes. It's just back here. I'll grab. And uh, Toasty will as well, likely. In <laughs> uh, once the Delay of the stream catches up. We'll give our ally a little of a minute or so, and uh, if he isn't back by then, we will uh, clear his space. Because yeah, he's also the weakest of our of us, basically. <laughs> because yeah, uh, the striker is decent enough. He has even grade twenty-two weapons. Uh, of course, uh, Toasty's running a really good looking uh, uh, Redify. Although, if you want to like be perfectly optimal, then uh, a Seska chest or Cheska chest is better. But it's also only just a few few percentage points. Nearby echo detected. Uh, ah, this guy's on controller. That that limits him a little bit. <laughs> But just a little bit. Oh, uh, what was that? Need a group up because I haven't got a crit damage knee pad. Oh, okay. Ah, you have too much crit chance there, so you can't. Uh, but then, then it, it is actually uh, the right choice to do. An agent is back online. Is it on the? Um, of course, you also can't bleed uh, chance uh, the way you can with other weapons. Yeah, and those crit damage pieces can be hard to find, as uh, I found out as well. But a few, <laughs> it was like a week ago or so. I remember correctly when. I was stuck on getting uh, a crit damage glove for like a day and a half. And yeah, let's go do the B boss as well. Our ally hopefully will follow us, or he'll run into the aviary and try to solo it, which you know, neither will end well. <laughs> well, if he comes with us, he will uh, he will end well. We're in position. Anybody seen anything? Because yeah, that might be also good to uh, show on the stream. Say again. I didn't get any of that. And yeah, the way we get that bee boss is the, there are five of these hives, uh, or hive things, especially yeah, we break them and uh, that will make him want to spawn. The nice thing as well is that we'll get a bunch of chests from it. And yeah, if, uh, what is it? there's a chest over here. And yeah, visually, the thing you're looking for is when they're broken, like the glass goes away and like the bees are like swarming around it. So yeah, once the glass is gone, yeah, as yes, we have our uh, little monkey friend over there. As yes, we'll go up the left side here, or another chest and another beehive. Also here is one of the, like one of the Easter eggs is in here actually. If you look in there, there's actually a nemesis up against the wall. The it's uh, on the other side of the aviary. just a small uh, Easter egg thing. Okay, that's, that's beehive number three. And we got flame rounds here as well. Oh, <laughs> Well, the thing is, on PC especially, 
uh, because players that are on controller will likely be less effective than than their mouse and keyboard counterparts. On on consoles, of course, everybody is well, not everybody <laughs> because there's also tools there to uh, use a, a mouse and keyboard, but uh, they're not intended to be used, basically. Is a um, uh, auto aim will help a little, but it will not bring a player up to the level of mouse and keyboard. And yeah, the last one is down here. And once we've had all five, everybody's here as well. For no particular reason, my hive lands there. I'll activate this. And uh, what I'll do as well is just run away and then start rolling because my hive will likely aggro <laughs> him. Uh, he has a basic instant fire. He didn't do it there uh, because yeah, he, he just melted. Um, but he has a basic instant fire uh, RPG, <laughs> which uh, can catch people out, of course. Now, of course, the health gate would, would have saved me there anyways. <laughs> yeah, the thing is also uh, how how comfortable with, you, with it you are. Because if you are comfortable with the controller, even on PC, if you even want to swap to being on mouse and keyboard, it's going to take a month or two till you're basically matching what you could do on a controller, of course. That's just... How that goes. So you might just be better off, <laughs> but just effectiveness-wise, it is there is a stark difference between the two. I'm pushing up here to catch this wave, hoping to catch him as well. I'll take the heal here <laughs> as I took a few armor breaks. Unlikely we'll have a few fresh. Uh, Oh, I should actually... Re uh, we, of course, had a boss already, and uh, that... Uh, that ended matchmaker. Just watch out. Uh, there's, that fire is also one of the rushers there. As, as I try to catch that wave, which I do, I'll set up to catch this wave, which I will do as well. <laughs> As are the kind of things like if you, of course, if you don't have all that knowledge, you, you can't do all that. But it's also not hard to get that knowledge uh, for where everything spawns after a while. Well, as we follow up that uh, six crit chance earlier with a 12 crit damage mod as well. So that's, uh, I'll take those. <laughs> as our friend is uh, enjoying his weight. Um, See if you can patch Isaac into the control. Uh, not from there, but from there. Although, actually, it will. Uh, the next room is also a boss room, and it will likely, uh, <laughs> likely end. Is that the exact same player that we had before? Oh, this is the guy we had uh, uh, on us with us with uh, uh, when we were in Ty when we did like Roosevelt and Tidal, but not the one we had like recently. Um, this wave has made it up a lot further than they usually do, and yeah, I very much. I'm gonna push up here and try to catch him up here. I had a 
boss should die as well. The one thing we do want to do, although actually our ally isn't with us yet. Is yeah, actually so. I think uh, <laughs> I think Toasty uh, did there. Just to get out of the zone um, after you grab your loot, letting others get it. Uh, here, of course, there's a timer running. Uh, this ally will likely make it in time. We're leaving one chest behind, which is the same position as I showed in with the manhunt mission there. Um, but also, it's 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 a long run. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we should be prepared. <laughs> It's too bad that he doesn't actually fire bees at us uh, in the way that he's the... Because he's very much, of course, an Easter egg pointing towards... Uh, but you're inside the barricades. You should be able to make it the Was it the pain or was it the agony in, 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 in Snake Eater? The bee boss. I feel the pain was the, the space guy, right? That was the pain. So he was the agony. The bee guy. At the very least, I'm happy that it's it's a bee and not the bee peep. <laughs> not the burster. Oh, uh, that sun is actually making it hard to see where this is landing, but that seems about right. Show them we're not afraid of them. Make them fear us. Yo, know, my okay, yeah, my chem didn't catch them, but my grenade did. I'm gonna run through everyone. Put my hive over here. I'll catch our wife. This as well. I'll clean up that one armor break. We'll likely get more med packs from this fight and stuff. I'm surprised I still have five grenades, although I should likely have gotten a few. Yeah, so overhand one over there. Because yeah, that shot with a cam is not, is hard as well. to get this guy before he <laughs> gets multiple ragers. I was hesitant on that shot for too long. I should have gotten it out earlier. As I'll also try to catch... Uh... Where's the boss move? There's an apparent delay there. <laughs> yeah. I thought actually they would always spawn uh, just when the last thing there is alive. But hoping to be able to get around here. Badumtish. Yeah, the bee puns, uh, the bee puns keep uh, being there and uh, being uh, a thorn in our sides. As I will go get the ski chest and this other chest. Yeah, there's a bunch of resources over there as well, but I'll leave those. Right. 
It's also nice to see that uh, our allies are sticking with us and uh, like going towards our little loot. I'm full up on ammo, so I can't trigger that. So was he actually? And yeah, let's go uh, say hi to this train. Gonna come there, trying to catch exactly him. Followed up with trying to catch something else, but over there. That was a bad shot. That was never gonna connect. Oh well. And I've done my part. There's not much I can do against that heavy anyway. <laughs> so I'll go loot. Which is uh, this chest. And this crate. And this thing. And that food. <laughs> Explosives detected. Agent down. Toasty gets uh, uh, trying to make a bee pun, but uh, he beat uh, he be minigunned. <laughs> As we're going to go uh, explore the poles. Ah, exactly, yeah. You tried to be B below the train, and you were, uh, you weren't being uh, too far below the train anyway. Um, yeah, I'll let my teammates get in here. I'll uh, hold up the timer, letting them get into position. Uh, you can go in as well, Toasty. I can... Because, uh... yeah, if you go towards the cafe side, I'll... Uh... Or upstairs, either or. I'll jump down on the second here. Even if you kill me, Mish, you won't defeat I will catch part of that wave, most likely. From here. Yep. Serious trauma detected. <laughs> she really doesn't didn't like me there. Second, they pick up the C4 is when the next thing spawns. She's keeping me pinned down, which is annoying because I really want to do this. Agent yeah. out of action. Um, luckily, Toasty is on my side of it. I'm uncertain if my chem made it into position. It kind of did because otherwise they would have uh, been in a lot more trouble. That did deconstruct my hive, which is annoying. Catch this wave. Just waiting for the fire to end. Immediate medical assistance. Why is she so attached to me? I'll help with that wave. They'll likely plant right away. That's been their mo. Meaning that I need to get into position to catch this wave. Which I do. Follow it up with this. Try to not set it on fire, but it didn't work. Come on, kill me if you can. Yeah, the thing to do here is my hive goes on this side. Flame grenade goes in there. Fire goes over there. Fire goes over here. Catching both sides. Yep. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that uh, Eclipse can do of catching multiple waves where. Yeah. A red could never like, match it in that. <laughs> and yeah, that was uh, about as clean as an Emmeline fight can go. Echo nearby. Except that I went down, of course, but... <laughs> you said nothing. Is 
that it's easy when I've gone and uh, triggered the uh, completion there by watching the cutscene. Oh, well, the echo. Target deceased. What a fucking waste. Think of the good. Curious to see what a time there was. Because yeah, we went out of our way to loot even and stuff. I feel that was likely under 25. This is a pretty good photo. Without her Manning. <laughs> Manning is pretty long. Push on her road. And that was. Oh, that was still 30? I feel that's longer than, than it felt. But yeah, we got through it. I cleaned up all of the small stuff so I get the <laughs> I get the, the top damages and stuff but as always like eclipses waste their damage quite a bit. Um I'll take us to DC. And yeah Toasty if you're up for it uh, we could go do bank as well. An agent has left your and that will likely end the evening for me. So I'll actually grab a a very humongous cherry, which uh, <laughs> I've uh, hanging on my desk and slowly munching away at them. Safe area entered. But yeah, these are uh, quite uh, quite humongous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're the, they're the size of my eyeballs, basically, and the cortez. <laughs> and we did the B man. We we bead the B man. As I'll uh, fix up the camera as it uh, once again leaves us. As, yeah, this is around that time. Um, I'll share this six twelve with my allies just because. Thanks. Flatlane 612 can be useful some sometimes. Yeah, we did get a 12 crit and a 6 uh, <laughs> 6 crit uh, chance uh, mod as well today. So I'll uh, set this to heroic and start matchmaking already. That's all over there. Oh, yeah, my fingertips are, uh, don't think it shows up on camera, but they're very, um, <laughs> very uh, deep red stain. Don't remember what that, which, which one of this allies this was. Oh, yeah, this was this guy. As I said, this very much is uh, a quintessential Eclipse mission. Waiting for this guy to load in as well. Yeah, let's let's start it with the three of us. And uh... you're gonna need to get the access codes to the vault to recover the item the hyena stole from Air Force One. Our hyena insider says whoever's posted in the old CEO's office. Oh, I haven't set any directives. Oh, uh, um, yeah. Another agent has joined your group. I'll, I'll set. I'll, I'll just set some. Sorry. <laughs> You're going to need to get the access codes to the vault to recover the item the hyena stole from Air Force One. Our hyena insider. Which is a dick move to do to your allies, but. CEO's office will have a key. We weren't, we weren't in it anyway yet. But yeah, it was an extra loading screen for them, but yeah. Okay. Everything's on fire, as it should be. It even spread and got that wave. Let to see where my hive is. Oh, I can pick it up, sadly. Hmm. 
send it there. There's a heavy in there. Don't have crossbow bolts yet. Serious trauma to take. <laughs> I'll go get the loot. I did my work. Everything's on fire. Oh. <laughs> I felt that that heavy wasn't aimed at me, but uh, yeah, I, I crossed the line with this ally. And. Uh, I just got uh, the side shot out of it. As I, as I wanted to send the cam upstairs, but also they were on fire. That was just needless. Mm, uh, crossbows, I won't say no to those. It's also actually handy when there's an FI player, and uh, in this case, of course, it's Tosi. So whenever I see that green line, I know it's basically <laughs> it's basically him near me. Immediate medical assistance needed. It is. I keep needlessly overextending, but that's also just it's getting later in the evening and. My play uh, usually gets worse the, the later it gets. Oh, we have a red patriot, or well, we have a true patriot with us. Let's see if it's a red patriot. Oh, shoot! Check for the key card. I mean, it's with a ninja bike, which is like the weirdest choice to make for a red patriot. But at least it's red patriotry, so yeah. We have uh, two buffing builds. As I uh, yeah, still see the FI symbol there. That unlocks. Keep an eye out. Hostile radio. Wait one for my allies to catch up. Division. Roach wants so back go down together. <laughs> Likely always uh, heavy in here with four man. Uh, that's what I'm. Waiting for there. I'm hoping to not have stuff spread out so much that I need to blow up the special ammo there. Okay. I very much want to have this. <laughs> between uh, players uh, made it so that uh, on my screen Tosi just ran through a closed uh, <laughs> safe door but uh, yeah that's, that's always uh, those kind of stuff isn't perfectly synced between players animations for like open world stuff um let's see what happens here I see Tosi going for it another's going for it as well but yeah, at least uh, me and this guy are over here. But I can also, worst case, I can hold the first wave if need be. Okay, it's only really the heavy that will uh, give me any issues here. He's coming up the left side. I see him trundle, trundling towards us. Give him a disorient, I'll set that side on fire. Because <laughs> he has the heals coming, although I'm gonna med pack anyway just to fill back up because we'll likely fill up to uh, pull off of these enemies. It's 
surprising that that purple rusher hasn't made it out and is still alive as well after all of the <laughs> all of the fires and stuff on them. There she goes. Oh, she was likely out of bounds because yeah, her loot dropped at my feet. Yeah, likely means that one as well is stuck on something. Although, of course, I'm not gonna go check because uh, we uh, we won't. Uh, if everybody crosses that line, we do fail. There's these waiting back there. Oh, yeah, yeah, Tosi, if you want to, you can come up here, like, nothing's gonna make it past here. They only spawn over here, so there's no chance of failing, really. Let's see if we get a wave on one second, which uh, sometimes still happens. Which we do, actually. Finished. Subject do we? Yeah. We President do. Ellis, I'll have a helicopter on standby to extract him. Allow lockdown procedure initiated. <laughs> that <doesn't sound laughs> yeah, that player didn't uh, think we would. But yeah, we uh, cleaned up the wave so fast that uh, you uh, I think we got to have a way out of the vault. As many waves as possible. Searching for a way out of the vault. Zero matches. Piece of shit wristwatch. Okay, let me see. If you can punch through the west wall, there's a maintenance tunnel running alongside your position. It's a long shot, but it's the only one we got. Oh, so usually, so on this one is if everybody goes through those double doors, uh, there is basically a mission the uh, objective, which is on most expedient. in the vault. <laughs> So if all four players go through, uh, then they then you fail. But yeah, you can just hold them at those double doors. And what I basically do, and I'll always say it as well, basically in the run, is just I won't go through those double doors at all uh, with matchmate groups uh, for that exact reason, of course. I'm going to grab a med pack here because uh, I can use one. I didn't even use a grenade as I got there. And then with invaded, it is if you overcamp the their spawns, they will actually trigger their um, their black dust download will basically restart uh, wrongly, <laughs> and that uh, that causes that one to wave to fail. Ooh, my cam was just a little bit too far, turns out. Vital science critical. But we made it up there. Mm, I spawns a little bit on top and not. Um, oh yeah, so they spawn in that room, basically. At least if that's what you mean. So they, they, they spawn in that room uh, where our objective is in that one. And yeah, if you basically overcamp them, they... Uh, what is actually happening likely in the background is that uh, the game doesn't know how to pat one of the enemies and it'll just basically allow it to act as if it uh, got up to the computers and interacted with them. And once they do, you can't also... You should be able to basically uh, change it back, basically. As one of our allies went oxy, and uh, he went oxy on turret, it seems. Oh, crossbow is heavy. Yeah, move my... Move my uh, attention to the other side. Because yeah, that's usually the thing that fills teams over there. And then the thing to do there is to just not camp them hard uh, to start off with. 
And then halfway you can push into them because even if it bugs out like halfway, uh, they don't have enough time to uh, to get it done. And yeah, here for once I don't have cool skills. We did bank quite a few times lately, but always cool skills was on. <laughs> so here I finally get to toss my hive in there for once. Follow it up with two cams. And uh, that first wave will be heavily weakened. Although uh, Ragers is on, so they'll be uh, heavily weakened to, the, to their health. I'm hoping that ally jumps down as well. Yeah, everything will be aggro to me because uh, I'm hurting them. I'll pull away from my allies especially to like make it easier for them to uh, get into positions. Some juicy heals come my way as well. I uh, don't know what exploded there and shocked me, actually. <laughs> but something did. And I'll go after the snipers. Kinda try to catch that wave. Well, I'll just go with that wave. Set the boss on fire just to have the bonus damage on him. I'll follow that up. He has poison grenades or disorient grenades. I'll toss one my way. And once he's dead, the last wave spawns. And off they go. Here's to see what this player swapped to. Guys, um, okay, so, oh well. It's not the worst setup. Kinetic momentum and oxy don't really mix. Neither does waveform. But he might be just trying to get uh, expertise grades. Well, uh, Proficiency levels on, on like the skills. It's not the worst use of them. As a likely, <laughs> as always. I mean, here as well, of course, uh, I'm getting buffed as well by by two people actually on the team. One was one was a red patriot for part of it, and of course, Hosty. While he's doing his own damage, he's also basically helping me do my damage. <laughs> so <laughs> that uh, is a little bit unfair to advise. Uh, like compare those numbers as yeah i'm gonna hop on over to the white house and clean up this character and uh, that will uh, be it uh, for me for this evening so i'm gonna uh, thank toasty for uh, the runs as we did the entire invasion and uh and followed it up with a manning and the <laughs> and a bank which uh, was very much appreciated and uh, was fun uh, fun to run with you as I'll uh, clean up here and then likely I will uh, drop group and then uh, basically do an outro and uh, that'll be it. Just want to briefly open up these caches as well. In case something useful comes out of them. Skill haste status effect. Headhunter. <laughs> Cheska Chesta. Trying to think of like what could you even make with something like that, but yeah, that's 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 just a folly. As yeah, I'll give my uh because yeah, the other player was also with us for uh, two missions there or one and a half. And I well actually he did a ton of uh, the invasion with us as well, so I'll give him a GG scene, right? As yes, I'll uh, drop group here, and uh, yeah, thanks once more for uh, for uh, for the runs. You have left the group. As yes, yeah, I'll um, that'll be it for me for this evening. As uh, we did do a manhunt, we did the invasion. It was uh, 
fun again actually yeah it was it was been a while actually since i'd last did invaded roosevelt so <laughs> that was that was uh that was fun and that was actually yeah, one of the easiest boss clears on uh on uh uh title in a while because yeah that that boss fight can go pretty bad uh quite easily uh if, if uh you don't watch out for it also actually as well so actually this character has the oxy right as uh, somebody was asking about it earlier uh, don't see the uh, snakes was asking about it actually so yeah so uh 2.08 uh this one i don't believe there is a better setup yet for it uh than this because yeah for instance my explosive setup is actually uh the mortar setup is actually there are better ways than setting it up the way i have it but then for instance in this case this should be a shotgun although actually so it's saved with an LMG and it's also an LMG with a thing, but usually, of course, I would just be swapping to this. Because yeah, uh, shotgun basically has just more stats. Um, the reason I have an LMG on it is because, yeah, I used to run it with combined arms. Nowadays, I run it with uh, tech support, although this is just a free talentable backpack, of course. But especially with combined arms, it made a little bit more sense to go with the LMG. But actually, the shotgun is much easier to use, anyway. And yeah, this can do, like, weird numbers, especially together with the FI and, uh, and other buffers helping him <laughs> out. Um, like, I've, I've reached points of 1.1 million uh, Oxy uh, in capital, so just even actually in actual use. Uh, like doing that, uh, the farm of that final area with with it, um, with having a fighter, uh, red build running uh, Overwatch together, and stuff. And of course, yeah, with a supercharge, it's very easy to reach really high numbers. But yeah, so um, especially tomorrow, I kind of want to play around a little bit with these. Uh, with the weird tech tanks, because yeah, they, they're still at the ready. Just haven't uh, used them much, of course. Because yeah, it didn't make sense with the global event. They were too easy. So, well, I'll uh, play around a little bit with those uh, tomorrow. Do their manhunts with them. Uh, that manning mission will actually be interesting with <laughs> with something like this, which is a little bit weaker. Um, but yeah, likely we'll. Uh, Still get it done. Although, of course, I died once today, so <laughs> maybe we won't. Yeah, tomorrow as well. The the high end glass red thought process video will go up, and then Friday, the Hunter Fury one. And uh, that will get followed up. Likely Monday evening, with, or, well, Monday late with the damage calculation one. Which will work well as well, because it'll be re up for Tuesday, which uh, is like the day to have it. Because a lot of people uh, will be uh, around for those. So yeah, thanks you all uh, for joining me, and uh, especially uh, uh, Toasty as well for uh, subscribing today, and all my other subscribers as well very much appreciate it as always <laughs> and all the followers as well and everybody that's just uh, hanging out uh, as always i quite enjoy it so i'll, uh, I'll keep it going and yeah uh, i'll be back at it uh, tomorrow evening if you enjoyed this one yeah you might enjoy future ones there's of course also more more of me uh, down below uh, on the on the youtube link there and uh, as always, uh, have a good night and uh, see you in the future.